Hello, everyone. I didn't put the captions up. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! It's so close every time. Sarah's coming. Uh, yeah, we're gonna... We're not gonna at RPG. Hi, everyone. <laughs> How you guys doing? Uh, DJ's not here. John's strangling him in the other room. Uh, so he'll be here... Possibly reanimated, depending on on how that goes. Uh, but yeah, he's being strangled to death in the other room. Uh, have I just admitted a crime? <laughs> please don't call it's the police. It's a joke. For, for legal reasons, it's a joke. Uh, legal. <clears throat> but yeah, we're here for uh, for the Veiled Forest of Warvago. We're gonna play this wonderful campaign that DJ will DM after he's finished being strangled. You didn't even start though. What? You didn't even hit start. Oh action. well. <laughs> Luckily, it's a big yellow button. It is a big yellow button, thankfully. (laughs) Yeah, it's not that difficult of a process. Uh, We're going to go around the table, introduce ourselves real quick, and then uh, we're going to pop into the action. We're going to wait for John to get back first. He's Uh, dead! Okay, that's good. (laughs) Good. Good, We're safe now. (laughs) Well, we can play another fun game. (laughs) Octane. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking D. Octane, I do have to tell you, when you put the thing in there that said how long you've been here... John and I both looked at each other and were like, where the fuck has the time gone? Yes. Because <laughs> this entire year has just been a, a wash. Yep. And I have no, I did yep. not know it was almost three years. Mm-hmm. You ever like wake up and forget that it's December? <laughs> yes. Yeah. I did the other day. I was like, oh, maybe I'm going to go outside and do something. It's like, it's all, no, it's not August. It's December. This is bad. I had somebody the other day ask if they could listen to Christmas music. And I was like, what are you, an idiot? And then I was like, oh, it's December. <laughs> it's Halloween. Yeah, no, it's, it's been, it's been bad. Uh, so, yeah. Um, yeah. That first TikTok that was like, March is in three months. I was like, what? Are they really trying to think people oh are God, so dumb? That they that. And then I did like, oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> it's like, it really is. <laughs> I literally just thought it was like, I'm like, oh, they think people are that stupid. Like, oh my god, it's in three months. But yeah, Octane, thank you very much for the reset. Might not have suffered the years, but I've been here. Yeah, and and thinking about it, it, it makes sense now. But mm-hmm. I I didn't I didn't know. It's 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 wild. But yeah, yeah. we're gonna go around the table and introduce ourselves. Thank you all. You're all wonderful mm-hmm. uh, for your support over the last several apparently years. Uh, <laughs> however, however long this shit's been long, happening. Yeah, however long I feel I've like been we're trapped in some kind of time I don't even know. Stuff. Yeah, probably. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm Don and I play Flint Iron Fist in this campaign. I'm Sarah and I play Chessa. I'm John and I play Olaf. I'm Glenn and I play Krom. I'm Chell, I play Minerva. I'm Mike and I play Stalk. Yeah. And he is dead. So <laughs> we are free. <laughs> so we're oh, the yeah. of the for this <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> mm-hmm. Chad, I'd like to go out. I'm just not right. <laughs> we did not know that you were coming today. You got anything to say for <laughs> E equals MC squared. <laughs> he <laughs> won! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Is this what Jamarva looks like? Huh? I hope so. You can leave it on. It's <laughs> That's it. you. I'm going to have to do this all night now, aren't I? Yeah. Those are very smart glasses. Yeah, you too. started it. You have to finish it. Uh, okay, it's up to you, but it's not really. <laughs> <laughs> you have a choice, except you don't. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my except God. for the part where you don't. <laughs> right? Whatever NPC I look at, dude, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to die inside. All right. <laughs> Really serious game tonight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be a serious one. <laughs> Just like Friday. <laughs> really serious. Uh, so serious. Couple of pillow boys. It's fine. Huh? Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's like a pillow with a dent in the middle. <laughs> the dog oh, bed. it's a dog bed. <laughs> Listen, if that's not an accurate description of a dog bed, it's a pillow with a dent in the middle. Uh, yeah, like nine God. colors. <laughs> Silver, gold, gold. You don't yeah, need any ones. others. <laughs> What uh, kind of wood do you want that in? Gold? <laughs> silver? <laughs> Any of the others? <laughs> Bat silk. There you go. While my identity is concealed. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, totally. I'd tell everyone. Birds are real. Oh, oh no. Whoa, crap, that's new. Right? I don't know how I feel. First you tell me that March is in three months, now you're telling me birds are real? <laughs> no, life is real anymore. Oh, there you go, yeah. Fox. There you go. We've, we're here. 
Uh, yeah. Doing our best. <laughs> Doing our best. <laughs> not, not unaware of how much time I've been interested passed. in D&D for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this is a new yeah, one. We're, uh, we're a hell of a group, this you is, know. This is D&D. Yeah. Yeah. This is what D&D looks like. Yeah. Well, this is as D&D. a real thing, this is D&D. <laughs> I, I was interested. Yeah, right. <laughs> this is what your home games should look like. Right. If, if your DM don't. isn't dressed like a grandmother, <laughs> something's wrong. Uh... <sighs> uh. So I'm still pulling up the recap. DM actually stands for the grandmother. The grandmother, yeah. The mother. The mother. The mother. <laughs> the mother. <laughs> the mother. Uh, yeah, it's been a stressful year. Uh, what happened? <laughs> uh, that's hair. DJ's real hair. This is my real hair. <laughs> this is what happens when DJ doesn't like give him enough time to get ready before coming. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is always why it's late. He's yeah. getting mm-hmm. all this <laughs> <The> candle. <colors> <laughs> <out. laughs> Jokes aside, my hair is turning white. <laughs> white? <laughs> Oh my right, god! I have like white hairs growing in. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. I'm getting the Mr. Fantastic sideburns. I have to rip gray hairs out. <laughs> yeah, no, I get I get some uh, in in the edges of the goatee now. Yeah, I found yeah. a yep. white eyebrow like Ooh, hair, and I was I like, know. I did, I gotta go. I gotta just shave these bad boys <laughs> off. Just, I'll check <laughs> myself into the nursing home now. <laughs> <laughs> Had a good run. <laughs> Hasn't hit me yet. I've been desperately trying to get gray hair for years, and it just hasn't worked. Yeah. Oh, maybe my that's beard the key. Is yeah, maybe you gotta want it. it. <laughs> it's called flavor. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, 30, All right. Thirty-one, dude. So last week, as Crom and Chessa were looking at the ring filling with blood, uh, Crom told Chessa that the ring, the symbol on the ring, meant clock. Apparently, which means stone. Uh, Stalk moved his bugs together out of separate jars into the same jar, made them a nice, happy bug family. Um, Minerva asked if the bandits outright threatened the party or anything. And Flint sure said did. they did not need the party. They did something. Don't want a party. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then Minerva walked away disappointed in herself for. Mm-hmm. Acting so brashly, <laughs> and walked a short way into the woods, and just to be alone by herself for a while. Mm-hmm. Uh, you guys discussed what you were going to do with the ring. Um, it was decided that Minerva, after she returns, should wear the ring and see what happens. So Minerva put the ring on. Crom said the word, and a piece of the ring started to like vibrate and shake its way out and leapt from the ring and lightly arced down to the ground, followed by blood, where it kind of mixed together and formed an earth elemental out of the ground. Uh, Minerva found that she was able to control it. Um, also, I don't know if you got my Discord message or not. I've okay. already added that magic item. Good. Uh, she began to explore the limits of what she could do. After about a minute, the Earth Elemental collapsed back into the ground, became one with the <coughs> Earth again. Or It's not the Earth, but whatever. <laughs> um, <laughs> kind of right. What is uh, the Earth? Yeah, right? Earth is what? dirt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> also flat. <laughs> There's like the proper noun Earth and then the regular. But the proper noun Earth only exists because we named this planet Earth, right? Or is All it right. the other way around? I don't know if we it's would... Probably the other There's way no way to know that. Teach. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Teach. We can't ask anyone on other planets if that's what they call it. You're right. We don't have any context You're for right. this. But there's probably, no way to know. I'm just going to place my money on the fact that they're not going to call it Earth. <laughs> oh, um, God. This is a different conversation, though. No. Uh, so Minerva asked if she could keep the ring, and it was decided she could. Um, and then Flint and Olaf began dragging the statue along behind them like it was on a sled. Uh, you traveled most of the day without any notable event until you noticed a shadow kind of circling you as you walked along. Uh, soon the dragon kind of like fluttered his way on down to you. Um, Olaf called out to him. Flint called out to him, beckoned him to land. So you met up with the dragon at a clearing in the road just slightly ahead of you. Where you found his name was Parsnax. Uh, you asked him some questions about the history of Orvigo, the existence of other dragons, if he had seen giants around anywhere, if he had seen the iceberg to the southwest. I wrote that wrong. Um, and if the dragon had seen any people with masks walking along the road. Provided everything he knew about those things, saying that he had seen someone in masks and he knows about an iceberg in the southwest, uh, along with a lot of them. 
Uh, Minerva asked if Parsnax ever attempted to return to Fabroxy, to which he said no, because the people there always treat me violently and try to kill me when I fly there. Um... <coughs> There's that, yep. And then you all continued to Kvego. Uh, it was getting to be about nighttime. Uh, as you approached the gates of the city, you noticed there were two guards standing on either side of a really large wooden door. Uh, as you approached, they kind of waved at you, said hello, welcomed you to the city, asked if you wanted entrance to the city tonight because it was a misty night. Uh, you all said yes, and they advised you to quickly make your way to the Honorable Pike and not to linger on the roads for too long, uh, because people have been found dead after misty nights. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> uh, yeah, the guard lowered the door, uh, quickly closed it after you had passed, and you all followed his advice and quickly made your way to the Honorable Pike, where you ordered your dinner, food, uh, drinks, rooms, the like. Uh, in, the innkeeper introduced himself to you as Darren. Uh, Olaf went to bed early and the rest of the party stayed up, drank and had dinner and had a good time. There were some private conversations that took place. Uh, and now here we are. Uh, we're opening with you all completing a long rest. So it's early in the morning, the next day. Before anything else, <coughs> Crown make a perception check. Gonna be a twenty-two, my friend. Okay. Uh, all right. So bright and early in the morning, almost dawn. Everyone who's not Flint Olaf. See ya. Mm-hmm. Good morning. Yeah, oh, yeah. Morning. We gotta do the good morning song. <laughs> yeah, that's that's. Yep. <laughs> I must go sing. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, good morning, Flint. The water's dancing, obviously. Very good. Tradition. I've made it like a... Uh, I've actually embedded one of my dancing lights inside of it, so it's Ooh, kind of glowing a nice, nice purple. <laughs> yeah, it's pulsing. Uh, there's a disco ball above it with the other three. That I like spinning. that very yeah. much. Like yeah, trying to change spirals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know. This is keep fantastic, Flint. <laughs> I've been trying to get better and better every day, you know. Yes. It's Clearly important. you're improving. I do my best. Very good. So All right. Bright and early in the morning. Mm -hmm. To the streets. Yeah. See whether or not there is anybody. We don't necessarily need to involve anyone else yet. Sure. Yeah, we can check to see what's going on and then come back and mm -hmm. feign innocence if we have to. Yes. Innocence Simply. of finding something, not innocence of having killed someone in the streets. Uh, yes, uh, of course. We didn't yeah. do that. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> not yet. Uh, no, it is for the best. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Gonna, you know, to the street. Toss our stuff on and grab our belongings and head down to the road. Lock our door on the way out. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. So you lock your door on the way out. Uh, mm -hmm. You come down into the like common area of the Honorable Pike, mm -hmm. and you see considerably more people than you had the night before. Mm -hmm. um, the night before there was maybe like four people, five people. Now Certainly. it's pretty packed. Uh, I see people sitting around eating like breakfast type foods, mm -hmm. uh, drinking coffee. You step out onto the street. Mm -hmm. Cool. On the street, you notice, again, considerably more people. Um, now, this is your first indication that, you know, this place is actually a city. Mm -hmm. There sure. are People are alive. Yes. Correct. There are a lot of people <clears throat> going about their day, hustling and bustling around. Um, you can see that, you know, the sun is... <clears throat> uh, just starting to rise over the mountains mm -hmm. uh, to your east... I believe. Correct. I literally just pulled the map up. <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, sure. Um, <clears throat> you see to your west, you look out over the water, and you can see the fog that was obviously over the city beginning to like recede back onto the water. Okay. Um, make perception checks. Cool. 18. Cool. Three. Three. Flint, you would see that as the water, because it's going to kind of start to hit the sea from all of the coastlines, mm -hmm. <clears throat> you notice to the south it almost looks like there's a wind diversion, and some of the fog is moving over toward the mountains rather than out into uh, the ocean. And okay. you see just little flashes of red as that 
fog cloud is beginning to move to the mountains. Um, so flashes is in like a like a light flash or like sorry. flecks of something that's reflecting. Like you would see um, as the fog kind of like rolling over itself, mm -hmm. little moments of where you can see red coloration in the flash within like itself. the swirl got of the it. movement. Okay. Right, got sure. Yeah. Not okay. like flashes of light, but sure. like flashes of color. You got it. Sure. That is yeah. what I described to you that I had seen the previous night okay. when you came back in. Got it. Yep. Uh, I see more flashes of that red in the fog out on the sea. Going somewhere? It yeah. is now morning. Yeah, it's heading heading back out to sea, yeah. Most toward of the fog. The fog you saw with the red in it was going toward the mountains. Mountains. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, it's like separating, got it. correct? Okay. Yes, okay. yep. Uh, it's the fog with the reds heading towards the mountains. All right. Well, I guess the best thing we can do is try to see whether or not there's anything perceivably inside of those areas. Uh, I wouldn't recommend we traverse towards the mountains yet, but no. I think it's best if we at least have an understanding of where it's attempting to enter. Sure. Check around the central area of the city first and then... Try to get a peek of where the mountain is and then head back. Yes, and uh, as we're passing, see whether or not any of the guards are moving in a direction. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much our plan. Yep. Cool. I like it. <coughs> <clears throat> so first you're making your way toward the mountains, right? Uh, so with where we are, like at the bottom of the, the bulb, it looks like a thermometer. <laughs> so I mean, in terms of the construction of this, for where we are... The majority of the people that you're describing to us in our surroundings, are they in, like, this bulb? Or They're, are they going into these, like, buildings that are offset out yeah, of it? Yeah, they'd be kind of going around the statue, like, making their way okay. around the city. Um, that, again, it isn't an exact map. It's more representational. Sure. Uh, all the houses would be smaller and more, like, spread out. Sure. Um, okay. It's actually a bigger location than it looks. Okay. Right. But yeah, you would see them all like rushing around the statue, going to different stores and shops and such. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I mean, in terms of where we are currently, we would be walking up uh, this part of the road, mountainside. Yeah. Like around the bulb, trying to see whether or not there would be any of the individuals who'd be dressed differently in any kind of guard esque attire. See whether or not they're approaching a place or whether or not there are any of them in multitude leaving a location. Okay. Um, we'll do it this way. Uh, make a perception check. Okay. So that way you're not just checking every alley. You know sure, what I mean? We'll just fine. do one perception check for all of them. I'm a 12. Six. Okay. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I'll say you notice a heavier, heavier concentration of guards, uh, to the, <clears throat> almost directly west of the statue. Okay. So towards the water side? Right. Yeah. Okay. Um... Do they look like they're just gathered, like, at a location? I'll say you see two kind of standing opposite ends of an alleyway. Just okay. standing there, guarding. Sure, looking out, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, probably best to at least see, you know? Yeah. There's no sense in coming out here if we're not going to at least look. Sure. Or ask. I'm sure they'll stop us if there's something in there that we're not supposed to see. Yes, better to ask for forgiveness than permission, Flint. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm going to head over towards the guards. Okay. Yep. Same. Cool. <clears throat> uh, you're approaching just two of them? Yeah, just literally walking towards <laughs> that alley. All right. One mm -hmm. of them kind of holds his hand. Hey, whoa, where, where are you going? Uh, we're new. Okay. In this city. This area is blocked off. There's a crime scene back here. All right. Yes, we were told last night, right, Flint? Yes, uh, something with uh, some mist. Yeah, good. I'm, I'm glad the guard warned you last night. Yeah, we've had bodies dropping from mist. I don't know what's going on, but... Yeah, they told us to stay inside, and I'm guessing this was again outside? Yeah, yep. All right. Just right down this alleyway here. That's good, Flint. I guess that we were right down to stay indoors and keep everything locked and closed. Yeah, call it a stay safe inside. Yes. Is this an often occurrence, sir? Often enough. Uh, I won't say it's every time we have a foggy night, but yeah, often enough to is be it... noticeable. All right. Is it usually a person that's uh, known for perhaps partaking a little too much and maybe wandering at night? Hmm. No, I, uh, I wouldn't say it's people partaking too much. Uh. Well, then again, I guess it'd be hard to tell with, you know, them not having blood and all. 
Well, just in general, from what you've seen around the city, are these people... Oh, what I know about them. Right. Are, yeah. they, are, these are they citizens, that... or are they typically travelers who are new in the city? Ah, uh, both. both. We've had mm-hmm. travelers and citizens alike. Uh, Indiscriminate culprits. I'll say it's mostly citizens, uh, since, you know, they're probably here more than yes. travelers, but... Interesting. Hmm. And... For whoever it is that leads you, do you all have any kind of plan? We would love to stay in Cavago longer, but these treacherous actions make it a little uh, make us a little pensive when considering staying in Cavago more than a few days. I I, I understand. Um, yeah, our plan now is tell people to just not be out after dark. Uh, it's really it. Uh, you know, it's hard to fight fog. Have you ever tried? Sadly, no. It's difficult. My younger years. <laughs> hard isn't it yeah not hmm. the fog of course the fog is not hard or you could hit it yes that's fair he's it's a difficult. Wise, wise man please. yes absolutely very wise man indeed all right <coughs> well hmm. we are as i said new here but my good companion and i are I suppose you could say individuals for hire oh should people ever find themselves in need of additional i'm gonna just like Lightly gesture to the size of my muscles. <laughs> Should you find need for something that might be able to maybe hit something, even if it is That's hard good. to hit. It's good to know. Um, I'll pass that along to <clears throat> Mr. Archery. I'm sure he'll like to know that. What was Who? it? Mr. Ar- Archery. Archery. A R T R I. Mr. Artery. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's like. <laughs> I thought you said archery at first, and I was like, Mr. Yeah, archery. Mr. Yeah. Augury. Yeah. Yeah. Suture Mall or whatever. Yeah. Is he the, the leader? Man, you are new. Yeah. Yeah, he's the uh, he's the ruler of Kvago. Uh, ruler. Mayor or. Ruler. Like a king? Sort of, yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, if you don't mind, we would greatly appreciate that. We. Made our way through uh, some of the other cities in Orvigo already and have done what we can to assist the people in solving some of their problems and hmm. would be happy to do so as well in Cavago. Are you the ones from the Naxi? We are. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I heard about y'all uh, killing some carbuncles. We did. Yes. Hunt carbuncle. It's great. Mm-hmm. All right, Very... well, yeah, we could probably use your help. I'll make sure to tell Mr. Artery. Yes, we hunters, Archery. hunters of sorts. Yes. Great. Very good. We will be staying at the Honorable Pike. Uh, you could leave note with Darren if we're not attending. Sure. Uh, we do intend to at least get some additional knowledge about the city itself, walking around, meeting the people. It's a good idea. Yes. It's the best city in Orvico. It seems like it. <laughs> Thank it's definitely you. definitely the richest. Seems like it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no problem. So very much, Mr. Guard. Thank you for You're the welcome. information. Uh, yes. You have a wonderful day. Sure, you too. Be good. We will be great. Certainly. That's what I like. <laughs> yep. Uh, uh. All right. Yep. You know, you know, coyly walk away and just kind of throw my arm around Flint. <laughs> Money, Flint. Well, yeah, we've we've somehow picked really well. <laughs> well. Yeah. Yes. Things to hunt and money to find. Yes. Very good place. There might be gold in them, our hills, I think. I would hope so. Golden blood flip. <laughs> yes. My two favorite things. Of course. In all the world. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna scream. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Just hold off, hold off. Oh, uh, sorry, Flint. Hmm. You know how also, I just get hungry. <laughs> a little bit more comfortable now. It's too hot. I can't do it. I understand. Yeah, I understand. You zone out a little yes. bit. Yes. Uh, it's fine. I have strong dwarven shoulders. It's understandable. Yes. Uh, Resilient. Yes. Very good. Get a, try to get a peek at the mountains. Yeah. Ideally, see whether or not there's any kind of pathway. Yeah, we can cut through these alleys here, and mm-hmm. if there's a uh, maybe a uh, like a porch or something, uh, you can throw me up there. I can try to get a higher vantage point. Sure. If we don't find anything suitable now, we could always ask stalk stalk later. Yeah. Yes, of course. Mm-hmm. It's good for us to. Uh, Maintain the composure when with the crew. Absolutely. Give them still purpose, you of know? Of course. Something to cling to here in a new land. Agreed. Yeah, we're going to head over to the eastward side in whatever area, like, obviously if he wasn't able to pinpoint, like, an alley that it went down, you know, within a couple of stretches worth of alley, try to be 
in that general sense. Oh, that's better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can always adjust that if you need to. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, yeah, so you head out of the alley back toward the eastern side? Correct. Cool. You walk over to the eastern side. Uh, you can see from the, <laughs> from the southeast corner through the houses, uh, mm -hmm. you can see clearly the opening of a mine. Um, okay. You would see, you know, guards yep. around that area as well, past the houses and buildings that are along that southeastern corner. Mm -hmm. uh, beyond that, just mountains. Um, you can see they don't seem to be snow covered. They're pretty bare with okay. just grass and stuff. Uh, sure. But you can see pretty, even from this far away, you can see pretty sizable cracks in like the mountainside where the stone has, you know, separated yeah. and has a crack leading it within it. Okay. Are we able to see the peaks or these mountains ascending so high that we lose them in cloud cover? A, sele a select few of them sure. would go past the, the highest of mm -hmm. heights that we would anticipate. Right, that's but the majority of them probably like 300 feet tall. Okay, okay. that's fair. Any snow on any of them? Mm -mm. Okay. No, they're all pretty bare. Yep. Okay, cool. yeah. Uh, was the stuff that he saw with the swirls of red within the fog, was that going towards into the perceivable area where the mine was, or was that more northward? It was actually heading more south along that mountain range. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Cool. Wow, so that would have been, like, right next to us out of the Honorable Pike when we left then? Yeah. Okay. Pretty cool. much, yeah. Understood. Yeah, once we see that, once we see that entrance, I mean, uh, Flint, vault, after all. Yes, indeed. Quite good. Mm. Uh Probably best to get back before the others awake. This way we don't arouse suspicion. Yeah, I think so. Anyone ask? We were... Stretching our legs. Stretching our legs. I like that. Simple. Elegant. Yes. Very good. Of course. Yeah. Back to the Honorable Pike. Yep. Okay. You want us to switch? Yeah. Yep. Cool. Yeah, I won't even call them then, because... Yeah, we'll just tell them. Yeah. Yep. Very good. Indeed. <sighs> it's my stream again. Birds are not real. <laughs> Every time. I'm going to do it every time. I'm going to be over here by myself. All that room to stretch out. Yeah. Welcome back, everybody. Hello. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. So, uh, y'all wake up pretty early in the morning. Is there anything y'all want to do? Uh, Should I make a con save? <laughs> right. I'm gonna make yeah. a con Make save. a con save, yeah. And see how hungover you are. Should I also do the same? Yes. Let's, let's see. You and Chess have both stayed up pretty late drinking last night. That's a seven. Not good. <laughs> Mine is a... An eight. You're both pretty, pretty hungover. <laughs> Heads hurting. The light hurts. Ears hurt. Stomach hurts. Everything hurts. Not not quite everything. Existence is pain. <laughs> At this point, yes. <laughs> How much alcohol is left in my bottle? <laughs> not much. Oh. Yeah, so I kind of just like, it's <laughs> still in my plate mail. <laughs> just like, <laughs> oh. roll over and like, look around the room, kind of forgetting where I'm at and what's going on. Mm -hmm. So I was with Crumb, right? Mm -hmm. And you were with mm -hmm. Salt. Salt, right? Are you still in the room? Uh, how early is it? Stock's not really an early riser. <laughs> yeah, at this point, I mean, you would sleep in pretty late through the day since you're drunk, so I'll say it's probably like 10 a.m. All right, I might be up by then, considering it's a fantasy world. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 10 a.m., I mean, if, if most of the time you get up when the sun rises, it probably gets up at like 8 or 9. Uh, yeah, so I would have I gotten up and uh, just... Fed my bugs and, and went down and got breakfast. Okay. Yeah, so if the room's empty, I kind of just like, ugh. Put the stopper on whatever's left of my bottle, <laughs> throw it in my bag, and just pounding headache, just try and walk back down to the tavern. Okay. Probably. You're waking up everybody on the way there. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Everyone should be up by that point. <laughs> God, I need to get some WD 40. This thing's so loud. Oh, yeah, that's probably what Shh. <laughs> 
Chrome, trust it. Um, I would have probably gotten up with the uh, the sun, um, gotten dressed, probably gone downstairs to go get breakfast and see if I could find some coffee and bring coffee back up for her. <laughs> okay. Did I see yeah. anything out that window? I told you what you saw. Oh, oh you said it. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, yeah, got it. You walk downstairs. Uh, it's You're going to see Olaf, Flint, and Stalk all kind of like seated together. Um, you grab your coffee and bring it back up to the room for Chessa. I don't know. Tap you on your head. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> I'm staring at you for a moment. Hi. <laughs> That's my favorite part of last week. This is really good. Hi. <laughs> Peel my eyes open. What time is it? It's still morning, but late. Smell that coffee. Grab that. Thanks. Now I'm gonna head back downstairs. You go ahead and get dressed and ready. I'll be down in a bit. Order another coffee. Oh, <laughs> another! another. <laughs> that was nice. Another! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you go grab another coffee for her. You just leave it down there. I'll yeah, I'm just there. sitting down there. Okay. I'm going to bring them all back in yeah. now. So Chess and Minerva look like death. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hair is just disheveled. Just, oh. You look like this. <laughs> Facts. Now put the wig back on. <laughs> I can't. It's too hot. <laughs> like this. <laughs> it was too hot. I couldn't do it. Yep. Hello, hello. Hello, we're good. Morning. So everyone's down in the common area, excluding Chessa, <laughs> for now. <laughs> I'll say you're all probably seated at a table together, or sure. nearby one another. <sighs> so do we... Are they here when we're returning, or...? They would come down after you returned. Cool. A, a good couple hours. <laughs> oh, shit, after. all right, cool. Yeah. Great, yeah. I'm the last one making my way to Sitting down here eating some breakfast. <laughs> mm-hmm. I want to uh, flag down the, uh, the waitress. Mm-hmm. Just, oh god, can I please have your strongest cup of coffee? Sure. And just a big, big plate of whatever breakfast you have. You oh, yeah. got what you, it. What do you have, by the way, food wise? For breakfast? Yeah, what, 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 stop what? yelling, stop yelling. I, I was. <laughs> Shh. Alright. <laughs> what do you have breakfast wise? <laughs> You've got, um. You've got new meats. Can you say it oh. in a, in, in a sultry meats. voice for me? <laughs> <laughs> sultry <laughs> voice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> low and slow. No, no, no. no. Wiggly eyebrows. Just well, you said your, uh, your poultry voice. Yeah, my, yeah your poultry voice. <laughs> well, we have... <laughs> Do you have anything <laughs> foul <laughs> for me? <laughs> Birds are real, huh? <laughs> Imitation bird. <laughs> yeah. Beak. <laughs> well... We have. This is my sultry voice. Mm. Okay. Simon, ladies. <laughs> Chocolate have... covered ants. Nope. Oh, for breakfast. For breakfast. Yes. That seems a bit more like a dessert it's, type uh, thing, but okay. The next thing. So Plum numbers. pudding. That's okay. It's more normal. Barbecued tigerfish. <laughs> that that leftovers from last night. Great. <laughs> uh, listen, I would eat that IRL for breakfast. Yeah. Don't even. Smoked really salmon and wild berries. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we had that for dinner. That yes, good. it's also breakfast. <laughs> okay, great. All foods in this inn are breakfast, lunch, and dinner food. Great. We just crack an egg over the top of the fish. That's just, fine. Uh, <laughs> depends on when you eat it. Um, sure. Do you have any bread? A pound of flour. <laughs> <laughs> you can make bread. <laughs> just that's something you can eat from. It's like a bowl of flour. <laughs> served. No. Uh, yeah, they have bread. Yeah. Can I just have a whole loaf of bread? Sure. Okay. Thank you. Uh, was there was there other things? Ah, that's it. Okay. Can you get me a loaf of bread? Two loaves of bread. <laughs> the, and the the tiger fish. Okay. What does that come with on the side? Papaya. Great. Do you have like a, a sauce or anything? That's it. 
That's fine. <laughs> okay. I'll make that work. Send it back. <laughs> Loaf of bread and, and that. Okay. And Anybody I, else? Yeah. And a cup of coffee. Okay. Coffee? <sighs> Do you want a tiger fish sandwich? Yes. All right, great. Yeah. Three of those. Two of the tiger fish things, one loaf of bread. Three of those and a loaf of bread. Okay. Yeah, this one will have tiger fish. <laughs> Four tiger fish. And coffee. Coffee. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He turns and walks away. Mm-hmm. A couple minutes later, he returns. And, ah, here you go. I just cut off a giant slice of the bread and just bite right into <laughs> the bread. Uh, just, oh, God. Oh, I just want my stomach to stop hurting. I'm surprised you took uh, the time to cut it. Because <laughs> I could see you getting a loaf of bread <laughs> delivered to a table and just going, ah. Are we talking about yeah, Chelsea or Minerva? Minerva. <laughs> yes. yes. Where's the line? Uh, so I'm going to take the, the papaya and kind of like flatten it out a little bit with something just to make it not a huge chunk of it. Mm-hmm. Put it on the bread, cut up the tiger fish into pieces and put it on the bread and make papaya and tiger fish barbecued sandwiches for mm-hmm. my friends and hand those mm-hmm. out. There you go. Mm-hmm. That's a good idea. I like it. Breakfast hammies. Minerva, would you like to toast them for us? I would love to. <laughs> 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 Thank Spicy you. Hands. Yes. They're paninis now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just Damn. gets pressed down on them really good. <laughs> Just like, like, you gotta, you gotta do the 90 degree rotate at the cross marks. <laughs> <laughs> really get, get them girls. Just, get, yeah, just the fingers. <laughs> <laughs> just got two daggers and flip it over. <laughs> He's a morning star as a meat tenderizer. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably what I smashed the papaya with. Come on. Like, <laughs> just one minute. Wait, right. you're ruining my inn! <laughs> I'm you're, making breakfast. Yeah, you ruined it by not board. doing this. <laughs> you have a cutting board? Yes, it's Kesgrim. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hello? It's a Spesgrim. Oh, no. Spesgrim. Yeah. <laughs> Just a funny hat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <sighs> I, I take it you had a bit of a rough night then? Uh, something like that. Uh. Jess, how are you feeling? I'm not down yet. I'm so <laughs> oh. Just talking to an empty chair. No. Uh, Minerva Chessa's not out. Was Chessa even real to begin with? Who's, who's Chessa? Who am I? Oh, no. Uh, I'm yeah. slowly making my way down the stairs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, you make your way downstairs and you see everyone seated at a table together. I'll kick the chair out next to me. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't. No, like I'll kick it out from the table and put her coffee down there. I also thought you meant like the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> <table. laughs> As she goes to sit, in. Bam, make a deck save. <laughs> <laughs> Have a <Lord> short <laughs> fall. I'm going to go up to the bar and order a plum pudding for Chessa. Uh, sure, yeah, here you go. Thanks. Chessa, breakfast. <laughs> Thank you. Just vomits in the <laughs> It looks the same. I, I hate plums. plums. <laughs> I'm going to take the plum pudding. I'm going to put it in front of me, but I'm not going to touch it. Okay. Mm. Just play with it a little bit. Yeah. Mm. Just, okay. just dip some pages of the book into it. <laughs> <laughs> knowledge. <laughs> I'm just so hungry for knowledge. <laughs> Delicious chips of knowledge. <laughs> it's mm. like a justice thing. I'm just hungry for knowledge. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I slice off a piece of bread and kind of like toast it in my hands mm-hmm. and just pass it over to Chess and go, trust me, you're going to want this. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Mm-hmm. It was Nibble quite nice toast. to stay in a place that was quite comfortable to sleep in, I gotta say. I gotta go to the bathroom. It's better than the woods. Oh. I'll pull out my necklace that I spent my night fashioning made of glabrezu jaw and feathers and teeth. It's impressive. It looks fucking awesome. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You could sell those. I'm very excited about this. Were you wearing that earlier? Hmm? Were you wearing that earlier? Not since, only since last night. Early this morning. Yeah. Yeah, all right. I... It's very nice. You would yes. notice something like that. But... Is that something your people do? Well, it's, uh, it's the same as the, uh, the harvest that we had yes. in the woods there. Very good. Quite similar. Oh, I like that. I'm excited that is... to add more to it. Yes, uh... Flint? <laughs> yeah. I think we've got news of that regard. Yes. There seems to be some horrifying menace eating people in the street. That's oh. A fog menace. A fog menace. Uh, I did see something outside my window last night, some red flashing. Yes, yep. we saw the same. Yeah. You know, red fog at morning. Good horning. Good horning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> 
Lob my buddy. <laughs> <laughs> It's a slow pitch kind of morning. It really is, dude. I'm sorry, I don't have the energy. Right. Yes, we saw it at night, and Flint saw it again this morning, uh, receding into the, the mountains to the south, right outside our windows. Yeah. It just uh, looked like fog. It didn't look like anything else. Strange swirls of crimson interwoven. Squirrels? Squirrels. <laughs> Squirrels? Squirrels of crimson. <laughs> <laughs> They're adorable. Red squirrels thing. Okay, so vampire squirrels, though. <laughs> right? Yeah, I'm down. Uh-huh. Oh. But, yes, we uh, went out this morning. Took a look. Yeah, we were stopped by guards. Yeah, there was an alleyway uh, that contained a body, and they were like, Hold on there, bucko, don't go down there. <laughs> Their exact words. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they also said that they, uh, <laughs> it was pretty close. Did you feel so <laughs> Is that what you think of my NPC stuff? No. Hold on there, he bucko. He said, hold on, baby. <laughs> baby. 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 Uh, Babes in the chat. <laughs> yeah. um, but they, they also said that this is the richest city in Orvigo. Uh, and there is a ruler named uh, Mr. Archery. Not archery, not augury. Archery, A R T R I. Yes. Archery. Yes. A R T R I? No. Correct. Not a king, not a mayor, a ruler specifically. Yes. Of Orvigo or of. Of Cavago. Cavago. Apparently they got a lot of money here. Yes, and uh, uh, evidently word has spread of our successful hunt of the carbuncle. Yeah, not any of the other stuff, thank God. <laughs> yeah, not the slaughtering of Ziffley in the just, road. Just the carbuncle hunting. Good. good. Mm. Yes. What, why is this area so rich? I mean, well, there's it seems a, very small. There's a mine in the southeast part of town. Trails into the mountainside. Interesting. We're unsure as to what they are currently harvesting and what valuables are within, but it seems to be related to it. Uh, Flint and I noticed the odd shape of construction. This is yeah. also the first city that contains walls of protection that we have encountered. Yes. Then actually did have its own walls of sorts with Lake Eel, but uh, Eswich did have no such boundaries. Yes. So there must be grand riches here within the city, and Flint and I intend to... Sniff them out. Yes. You know, find our fair share of the wealth. Mm-hmm. And help this oh, yes, absolutely. fog from stop eating people. That's yes. a sentence. <laughs> um, Help I'm... this fog from stop eating people. <laughs> Someone quote, quote that, please. Yeah, yeah. There, there's a mod. I do want to point out that that was not, if you're just reading the caption, was not just yeah. the caption. <laughs> that was what Don did say. Um, are you sure you want to try and hunt out treasure of that kind of variety? Isn't that how you yeah. got stuck with your friend? I mean... It's kind of worked out so far. Yes, he's been blessed with powers. Blessed. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Sure. For blessed, now. sure. Yeah. Sogolthar has been, you know, frustrating at times. Rude and crash, but, you know, manageable. Mm-hmm. And I was able to get away from my parents, despite being thrown onto a strange prison island thing that we're wherever the fuck we are. Yes, I guess that's very glass half full kind of way of thinking about it. Interesting that you count this as a win. <laughs> yes, uh, <laughs> Flint and I remain ever optimistic yes, in life. Yes, we've made friends and there's surprisingly a low number of criminals here, so... Yes. Seems, seems like a win. Yes, seems like it's well suited for people like Flint and I. I yeah. mean, Success. dragons are even saying it's safer here. Yes, absolutely, and the dragon was quite friendly. Speaking uh, of dragons, I am interested in the fact that there was a masked figure walking through this area, or from this area, rather. I'd like oh, to know yes, a little bit what more Parsnack said? Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, le- leaving, yeah. right? Leaving, yeah. <laughs> Heading back towards Esther. So I'm curious as to why they were out this way, <laughs> or that they're even down here. Well, scholars were en route to Cavago, so it seems as though it might be plausible that whatever people uh, occupy themselves here might have information to share or to be sold. True. Yeah. People are drawn here for something. Yes. Mm-hmm. Probably more than just riches. So this archery person, <clears throat> any idea on where to find him? 
Uh, no, we actually informed the guard to uh, have Archery seek us out. We told them to leave word either with us here, if we were seen, uh, from whatever message our Archery would send, if not, to leave it with Darren, the tavern owner. Yeah. Very well. So we have the day to explore. Yes. Probably check out the mine. <clears throat> I don't know whether or not they'll permit us entrance, though, Flint, you know? I if we were stopped just from a crime scene, I'm certain that they will also guard the wealth of their city. I could look like a miner pretty easily. You or could. a guard. Could. So. Yes. Definitely possible. Make it work. Yes. And if memory serves, you know your way around mines? Yep. Used to finding your way through them, at least? Yeah, for the most part. <clears throat> yeah. Mm -hmm. Similar enough to a vault. Yes. But, as with all new places, best not to offend anyone, you know? Of course. Keep on good terms until we meet with our tree. Indeed. As yeah. for now, I think it's probably best that we seek out these scholars for Chessa. Yes. Should you feel up to it today? <laughs> <laughs> I love <laughs> books. <laughs> Do you love books? <laughs> Pudding. <laughs> Perhaps not this second? No. Just... Just give me a little bit. That's fine. Minerva is seemingly uh, gracious enough to provide toast, which does help, as uh, does ample amount of water. <laughs> when we're Continue conveniently drinking my by, coffee. <laughs> conveniently, we're by a lake, so. I mean, if you're truly <clears throat> feeling that ill, there is a saying that my people used to say up by us. is called hair of the dog. I can put a little bit of alcohol in your coffee. No, Believe thanks. it or not, it will help. <laughs> hmm. that's, that's, that's quite alright. Okay. How do you get the dog involved? Ask nicely. <laughs> <laughs> you say please. <laughs> does the dog bring the alcohol? Or does the dog pour the alcohol? It, it's a saying. It's call. like an enchanted dog. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is the dog the alcohol? Mm. I do like I hope dogs. not. I hope not to. <laughs> uh. But yes, as for now, I think it's best that we uh, gather as much information about this city as we possibly can, and consider what our options are once we've discovered some things. Very well. Hey, Darren. Oh, uh, yeah. Any, uh, any scholars come running into town recently, ranting and raving about a demon? Yeah, actually. About a week, week ago, when we came in. Uh, do you have any idea where they went? Where they're staying? Um, well, they probably went to uh, Orvigo Origins. I had to guess. Scholars, museums, they kind of <clears throat> go together, you know? Oh, it's a museum. Oh, it's a yeah. Museum. Yeah, we have a museum here in Cabango. Is it natural history? Sure. It's not artificial history. Or unnatural. Supernatural. Ooh. Depends on what you believe, but you know, um, yeah, uh, they probably went to Orvigo <coughs> Origins. All right, thank you. Darren, sure. you, would, you, you own the place. You probably know if some odd looking people came through here. Have you seen anybody coming in with masks? Oh, not at all. Never. How not that I can recall. answer that question. Huh? What'd you yep. say? How quickly, quickly did he answer, answer that question? Pretty quick. Like, before she finished saying it? Not before you finished saying like it. Like, suspiciously no. quickly. You can make an yeah, insight yeah, check. I was going to say, I also want to... make an insight check. I'll do that disadvantage, because I think that's... <laughs> 11. I think that's fair right now. Oh, not bad, not bad. Dirty 20. Got 15. my eyes on you, Darren. Okay, show? Uh, it's a 9 on the die. But insight is... Uh, so that's an 11. He did answer it quickly. Mm -hmm. um, to Crom, a little too quickly. To everyone else, it seems like this is just a quick-witted man. I'm going to shoot him eyes. The allies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I guess masks are a pretty bold feature to see in somebody. If he hasn't seen them, he hasn't seen them. All right, thank you, Darren. You're welcome. Oh, could also be that these individuals you're looking for might take them off before they enter a tavern, you know? True, but I don't know what these individuals look like without their masks, so... Very good point. Could be amongst us, you know? <laughs> Darren. Flint, hide the masks. Darren. 
<laughs> that would be, that would seem to be the point of the mask uh-huh. <laughs> to conceal the identity. Uh-huh. <laughs> I was going to reenact the Phantom of the Opera, but that seems that seems wrong. Uh-huh. Right? <laughs> Chessa just shatters the bowl in her hand. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Do we have any more questions for our friend Darren over here? Do you? Do you ever change your menu? <laughs> we get new things in sometimes, yeah. Are the yeah. fish caught locally in the lake? Yeah, some but, of them. There's only two. <laughs> Oh, they there was the tiger fish and the salmon. Which one of them isn't? Oh, the rat. Yeah, actually, both of those okay. are caught in the lake. <laughs> Just wanted to clarify. <laughs> the rat fish. No, no, no. The other fish. Yeah, right. Not every fish is can like be. a secret menu? Tuna, it's like chicken at the No, okay. but not every fish can be eaten, you know? Yes, of course. Like, not all squares are rectangles. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're right. <laughs> every rectangle is a fish. Yes. Yes. <laughs> we learned that at the museum. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have eggs? I suppose. Bird eggs, to clarify, not fish eggs. Oh, yeah. Fish I would eggs like are to eat some. some. Okay. <laughs> cooked, yes? Yes. All right, <laughs> yes. Oh, I'll be right back with your cooked cook them. eggs. Thank Hard you. boil them? Can I try those ants, too? <laughs> Sure. Just start <laughs> popping up. <laughs> so he comes back with a plate of just scrambled eggs and ants. A smaller <laughs> plate of little ants. Chocolate covered ants. I'm going to take the toast that Minerva gave me and just put some eggs on there. 40. They're, they're all right. They're not. That worst they're spots. subpar. Mm. Not, not awful, not but awful. subpar. Is it mm. like. Like bad chocolate, just like not good. It tastes like uh, like advent calendar, like chocolate. salty chocolate. <laughs> oh, no, you just throw that out. You don't eat that. Yeah. <laughs> like salty chocolate. Oh, that's salty. that sounds that's pretty good. good to me. No, I'm kind of yeah. into that. Yeah. Percent cocoa. <laughs> not yeah, sweet. that's fair. What percent? Oh, wait, really? Yes. Oh God, why? It's bad. I love I love ninety. Really? Oh, God. Yes. I don't I know how you, you survive. <laughs> no, no I, I do. I love it. Do Autumn's, you like? I made dip it in sugar. Nope. I made autumn meat one. She said it tasted like a factory floor. All right, I don't trust. <laughs> it tasted like a factory floor. <laughs> oh. See, it's weird. I don't like. Strong. Do you drink mm-hmm. black coffee too? I can. I don't all the time, but it doesn't bother See, me. See, I my I, coffee's really strong. I mm-hmm. drink my coffee black all the time, but I can't stand high percent bad. chocolate. Bad, yeah, I don't like bad. dark chocolate. I literally won't eat less than eighty-six. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> You just like get the, Baker's chocolate. Mm. Yeah, it'd be just bite fine. into a cacao mm. bean. Yeah. We, we right got cacao good. nibs once, and we almost died. Uh, uh, yeah, no, it, it's pretty jarring at first. It's been a, it's been an acclimation. Mm. Yeah, so you eat your chocolate covered ants. <laughs> mm-hmm. They taste all right. I try not to look at the chocolate covered ants. Fair. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I try and slide an ant into my bug jar. Work <laughs> as a couple. Yeah, yeah. Here you go. I'm always down for eating some bugs. Sure. Here you go. Hmm. Yeah, your your fireflies eat the chocolate yeah. ants. <laughs> cool, eighty two percent. Ooh, those are pretty damn tasty. What you would y'all like of, to do? Do you eat a lot of bugs, Crumb? If I didn't trust you before, I definitely don't trust you now. <laughs> Why are you eating? Pulling grubs out of a tree trunk, trunk the well, other apparently day. Apparently, Stop loves them. You know, ninety seven. There Ooh. you go. Is this ninety percent chocolate? Ninety seven percent cacao. The ones people like eating bugs. Do bugs eat chocolate? Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> and poison damage. Call me a doctor. I'll be right back. <laughs> Start shaking Minerva. You have to help him! <laughs> Not help. This one needs help. <laughs> this one's just, just lay down on the ground and start yelling. <laughs> <laughs> Flint. Yes. Mist from the lake felt a little uh, salty, yeah? Did it? Yeah. It was yeah. salt water, correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It felt uh-huh. salty? Yes, perhaps that uh, hole did not go to the ocean. It's possible. I mean, the lake is fresh water. It's weird that it would feel salty. I thought we were told the lake is salt water, correct? Yes. Wait, the lake is salt water? Yes. yes. Oh, I thought yeah. the lake was fresh water. Oh. No, that was why the mist was described as salty as mm-hmm. well. Perhaps it's not so far, you know? That's why mm. also the two types of fish are saltwater fish. <clears throat> mm-hmm. I always thought this was so strange. I'm like, where is this salt water coming from? The lake is fresh. All right. Mm-hmm. That makes a lot more sense then. Okay. Yes. Perhaps much closer than we might think. Yeah. Interesting. Hmm. You know, 
Are we near the ocean? Not so much, no. And the, the lake leads out, right? I mean, I guess not perceivably we wouldn't have seen with how we were walking in. Yeah. And or wait, you said the, the walls of the city do not contain the entirety of the lake, right? Right. Yeah, okay. the walls of the city stop, and then they just have straight coastline okay. past that wall. Okay. All right. Yeah. This is Lake Giel that's on the no. other side. Mm-mm. It's not. No, oh. Lake Giel is the one around an axis. So Lake Giel is fresh water. Correct. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, we don't know the name of this lake. Uh, I thought someone told you. Did we? I might be wrong, but I feel like someone told you. Darren, what's the name of the lake? <laughs> oh, uh, it's Lake Lion Ojar. I don't remember. Robert Lozier? Yes, I did. I made that joke. <laughs> I remember now. <laughs> lake Robert, Robert Lozier. Lozier. <laughs> L I N. Hang on, hang on. Or I'm sorry, L I A N. A N. L I A N. O J. O J. Did A R. A R. R as in Robert Lowe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Lake Lion Ojar, and it is salt water. Very good. Well. I guess uh, we can head to the museum whenever Chessa feels better. As for now, Stark. I don't know. Flint, what do you think about getting a higher view of that alley? I think that would be helpful. If you'd be interested. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. It's not far from here. We could actually probably ascend to your room and perceivably see about rooftop to rooftop. If there's sufficient distance. I could also go talk to the guards, just so they're not paying attention. Well, I figured we could, uh, you know, be outside of the area. It would seem strange if we went back to them as the same people. Could That's possibly fair. have well, some could... of the other individuals speak with the guards. Sure. Look as though they are no longer, you know, yeah, not st- necessarily connected to us. Stock can climb down and get a closer look if the body's still there. Oh, it doesn't need to climb, you know. The worst thing that could happen would be our good friend being seen at the scene of the crime, you know? That's true. Yeah, I guess so. Probably best for him to stay on an awning or other rooftop. Sure. Get a a look, but ideally keep himself safe. Sure. So that works for everyone? That works for me. Yes. Darren, thank you again. Uh, yeah, you're welcome. Delicious. Keep your nose clean. Mm -hmm. What's that supposed to mean? He's got some dirt on his nose. My nose dirty? I'm gonna lean over to Minerva. He knows something that he's not telling us. I don't see any turn on his nose. What are you talking about? I'll tell you later. Make a stealth check. I don't care if he hears me. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Me too? No, not you. Gonna... I'll tell you later. <laughs> <laughs> what if you have dirt on my nose? I'll tell you later. Oh what? <laughs> what is happening? He hears you say that, mm-hmm. and he kind of gives you like a sideways glance. Yeah, keep my nose clean. Right. How much for breakfast? Oh, uh, it's actually included with your night's stay. It's a complimentary breakfast. Amazing. Cool. Although you it. all took advantage of it more than most. In what sense? We all ordered one thing. <clears throat> Less than that, actually. <throat> oh, I guess you're right. Whatever. <laughs> Those are just, <laughs> people don't usually offer, take us up on breakfast. <laughs> you didn't offer us, like, just a bowl of nuts or something for, like, uh, uh, you know. Did you want a bowl of nuts? No, <laughs> but I just figured if it's complimentary, you might have had, like, a cheaper oh. menu that you neglected to... <laughs> It's leftovers, I mean. I get yeah. another coffee. The fish was cold. Sure, <laughs> sure, another coffee. Yeah, same here. Here you go. Here's your coffees. I uh, flick him a piece of copper and go. Can I take the mug with me? Sure. <laughs> I'll Great. do the same. <laughs> yes, the keepsakes. <laughs> <laughs> Does it say on there? <laughs> Can I go keepsakes. Yeah. Can I go keepsakes. Damn. I stayed, um, <laughs> I stayed at the honorable pike, and all I got was the shitty <laughs> mug. <laughs> And ants. <laughs> and ants. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna head outside. Yeah, same. Same. How yep. bright is it outside? Very, very bright. Oh, God! Ah! Ah! Just hand over my eyes. Mm-hmm. God, what is wrong with this city? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I before some... I hit the door, I would look at stock. You have the rope ladder still, yes? Mm-hmm. If you need it? Good. I have some uh, strands of dried kelp if you wanna just, like, cover your eyes a little <laughs> oh. bit. 
Am I going like, to the spa? Like, what you is tie this? it like a bandana, so it's just kind of covering your eyes a little bit. <laughs> I feel like I'm just going to look at like a Vietnam veteran. We can veteran. Like, just <laughs> douse it with some water, so it just gives yeah, you a nice here. cool drip. Here What's wrong? The Naxi happened. <laughs> <laughs> I just kind of tie them over top of my eyebrows. <laughs> Jessa, you cut little eye holes. <laughs> The Kelp Bandit. That's not, that doesn't help. <laughs> the Kelp Bandit. <laughs> the Kelp Bandit of Cavago. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I do that. I cut it like little tiny suspicious eyes talking to a guard about a dead baby. <laughs> so you found a dead body here last <laughs> night. So anyway, yeah. I'm new in town. <laughs> I would have gotten away with it too. If, oh. Uh, the if it weren't for that meddling mist. <laughs> Justin? Rom, do you have um, no. a cloak by any chance? No. Mm-mm. Damn. All right. I take my shield and just hold it over my head, just walking down the street like this. I have my book. <laughs> but okay. It might actually be better if <laughs> we just stand. I could just transform into yes. somebody else and go I talk think that to that's them. significantly better. Yeah. I'll go with sure. you. Yes. walk on so. been a so <laughs> Somebody told me that yeah. somebody died here. Just shield up. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Card, why are you yelling at me? <laughs> Tell me quietly. <laughs> she approached with a shield up. I thought she wanted to fight. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> what are you gonna look like, dude? Uh, I'm gonna be a, 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 a normal dwarf. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna shrink down. As opposed slightly. to an abnormal dwarf? Or well, <laughs> I mean, I am kind of an abnormal dwarf. <laughs> fair. Uh, yeah, with just like a big, big, long, uh, like dark red beard. Okay. Uh, and some, some like traveler's clothing and, a, and like a backpack. Okay. Yeah. And I'm gonna walk up to the guards. Yeah. I'm gonna continue wearing what I'm wearing and walk up with them. Hello. Hi. Uh, Chester Kelpstone. <laughs> How hey. are you? Good. How are you? Great. We're new to... Uh, <laughs> uh, we're looking for things to do. What's uh, what's interesting around here? We're just traveling around. <laughs> uh, well, don't be out after dark. Um, Why? The mist will kill you. The fuck does that mean? Well, that's oh, troubling. Find exactly. your plugs. Exactly what it sounds like. Uh, the like a like strangle us or <laughs> sort of. I'm gonna lead the ladies away. <laughs> You're not going to want to listen. <laughs> it will drive you mad. The screaming is driving me mad. <laughs> 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 As we walk away, I'm gonna ask, am I supposed to be on the roof? <laughs> like, ask me a question, is that like, I mean, I didn't get into position. <laughs> yeah, no, I asked if he had the stuff, and then Don was like, yeah, I gotta go to like, guard. Is this what I'm supposed is to be watching? Is this position three? Just scream and run away, just scream and run away, we're all fucking up. Did he say Chester? Ah! Was that the go-word? Yes. <laughs> right, try and find an alley to climb up a building in. Yeah, you uh, you're able to climb up onto a building, uh, slightly nearby, but out of view with the guards. So they don't see you climbing. Before I climb up, I'm gonna think about and what and what do you want me to do? What am I looking for? It's, what, what is this one trying to find? Get up there. Uh, hey, get on the roof. Who it is what? that died? Whether or not it was a civilian, a guard, a okay. traveler. See whether or not a, possibly a scholar. Just take a look at your face. Cool. So I'm just trying to identify the victim. Yeah, it's effectively when we try to speak to the guards, we were just told, oh, it kills random things. Mm -hmm. We're trying to figure out whether or not it is truly indiscriminate in victim. Mm -hmm. Other than that, like, if you could see anything about yeah. how it died, obviously that's always beneficial, but that was pretty much our thought process. Cool. Just making sure. Yeah, yep. so I'll, I'll climb up and, uh, yeah, I'll try to get close enough to take a look at the, the scene and see what I can see. Okay. Yeah, you're able to get within, you know, a few houses of it to where you can kind of see the alley that the guards are blocking. Um, you can see that down the alley there appears to be, like, two or three other guards dressed in lighter armor. They still wear, like, guard armor, but it's definitely lighter. Um, you can see them standing around the body of another guard. Um, okay. So you'd see this one is more heavy plate mail, like, looks like a proper guard. Uh, you can see, uh, make a perception check. Cool. And to be clear, the, the heavy plate guard is dead? Yes. No. Uh, said perception. 17. Cool. You can see the face of the guard. Uh, right, the helmet would be laying on the ground behind him, like, opening up. Uh, you can see his face. His skin is very pale and tight and, like, pretty much sticking to the bones. Uh, you can see as it goes down to his neck before his plate armor starts... 
once again you can see like heavy just paleness and clinging really close to the neck almost like shriveled and dehydrated okay and yet yeah, very dead uh there's no signs of blood around him uh it's not like there's blood splattered all over the alleyway it's just a dead body as i glance around the alley does it look like this alley is significant at all like in position in the town like is this like is there like a clear escape route that would have led a human to do this or is it just kind of seemingly random gotcha um it is where the alley is positioned uh it's because i realized you didn't quite know that either they just kind of led you over there and i never said where it was Mm -hmm. uh it's to the like it's to the west on the cul-de-sac area so more west of it is just the lake okay um, I'll say anything that makes it seem significant, it looks to just be an alley. Okay. Um, it's yeah, there's position. nothing jumping out. It doesn't look like it leads anywhere. Right, yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah, after I, after I get a glimpse of that, I'll uh, carefully make my way back to avoid uh, making any noise and fill you guys in. That it looks like a guard, uh, heavily armored, and uh, he looks like he has been dehydrated. The people of this area, did we ever get a race? I think you said mostly... Human with some dwarves, I think. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't think we got like a proper description of it because we just sort of ran in the middle of the night. Yeah, right. it was pretty late. And at this point, also because everyone else wasn't down here earlier, um, the streets are much more busy. Uh, there's people rushing around to and fro. Uh, you can see it's there's considerably more people now than you would have thought last night. So majority human, but also some dwarves yeah. mixed in. There's some dwarves running around. Um, there would also be at least a couple elves. Um, mm. Maybe an orc. <laughs> Halflings and gnomes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's uh, a pretty common racist. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, I still want to hear more of Flint. <laughs> yeah. So what's 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 <laughs> there to do in Cavago? Uh, my friend and I here open uh, Nanaxi Navigations, a traveling <laughs> company through Nanaxi, where we're gonna lead people around. We navigate. We're going, we're, we navigate. We're from going around Naxi. from the Naxi. Uh, we're going around, you know, finding all the new folks, and we're gonna take them around. So wherever we're... are my manners too? My name is Prom. <laughs> Prom. Prom Moore's me. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. So what? I'm what's... gonna grab his hand and just. What's what's going on in uh... like car salesman style? <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, uh, people are dying from the fog, uh, but I covered that already. Well, that could be well, a selling like, point. It could be a selling point, like a horror, <laughs> yeah, uh, murder mystery. Yeah, we could take yes. people out at night and walk them through the fog. So we could use some magic tours. We could even do it outside of Kavigo. <laughs> we could just take this idea and put it somewhere else. We can make fake fog. That's easy. <laughs> oh, you may have done, I'm just sure there's done a something. graveyard we can find, or we'll just. We can one. make a graveyard. We'll just make one. I oh. feel like I'm not involved in no, this conversation. What, 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 what thing is, no, you're doing wonderful. What, 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 is, what are the fun things? What are the, what are, what's the allure of Cavego? Why should we come here? Uh, why am I here? Why are we here? <laughs> why am I here? <laughs> Sell us on your wonderful <laughs> city. What is this? <laughs> Shit, this skin. <laughs> why am I here? <laughs> why are they shouting? <laughs> Are you two okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm just very excited to find so out more lovely. about your mm-hmm. lovely city here. I told okay. you it would drive you mad. Well, uh... <laughs> yeah, are they okay? There's Orvigo's Origins. Uh-huh. Uh huh. It's a museum. Oh, a museum. Is it also oh. haunted? Oh. It's probably not haunted. Uh, we well, can probably make a deal for the ticket sales. Partner with them, yeah. <laughs> okay, what else? Haunted tourism is way up right now. Oh, yeah. The museum is free. Ooh. Cool. Okay, I should call your company Orvago. Oh, that's the campaign. <laughs> <laughs> um, left. Hop on the plane, we're going home. <laughs> uh, our mascot's a gnome named Travelocity. <laughs> Give me like six weeks, I don't have another one written. Uh, <laughs> No, um, yeah, there's Orvigo's Origins, uh, uh-huh. the museum, uh, there's the Honorable Pike, which is a very good inn. Uh-huh. Uh, there's Lake Lion Ojar, it's very pretty. Good swimming. Sailing. Yes, to both. Diving. If you want. Is, is it anything? safe? 
There's yeah. a sea monster out there. Well, There's I guess a lake monster. But see, I wouldn't peg that as being good for sailing or swimming. <laughs> it's not. But <laughs> are there boat <laughs> rentals? If you want. <laughs> <laughs> What if I don't want it? Then you just take a Did boat. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't want these. All right, boys, pack it up. So we, so we can rent boats, but not recommended. It's yes. it's, it's a, just a bucket. Yeah, so you got it. You're getting it. <laughs> Great. Uh, is there any like uh, legends of the lake, sunken treasure aside from the monster? Ah, uh, well, presumably the monster has sunk many ships with things on them. Ooh. I don't know if you could necessarily call it treasure, but... Some... Anything could be valued as treasure, my friend. Yes, we could even put stuff there. I have a nice fish. Flame. Treasured friendship. Would you like <laughs> to buy this fish? It's a treasure. <laughs> Not particularly. Does he have no. a fish in his hand? <laughs> <laughs> Where did you get that? <laughs> you got a fish in your pocket, or are you just, like, really excited <laughs> for, uh, to be He pulls us. the fish out of his scabbard. <laughs> 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 she does have the handle. <laughs> It's the back fish. It's just the, 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 the half of the fish and then the handle yep. where the tail would be. On guard. <laughs> a sword fish. Get out! Get out! We can sell those! It was there! <laughs> well, I, don't what like to go I told you it would drive you mad, didn't I? <laughs> what are the uh, points so of interest? Yes. Talking points if we're trying to, you know. There's a fire spire. There's a blacksmith shop. There's nothing okay. matters with Flint. <laughs> I have a crumb. A place to buy goods. It's I not think a bad he's just place. Having a good time, yeah. So like a general store. <sighs> it's his first time really being it's a close with Flint alone. Okay. We sell groceries. Sure. Contagious. What about just like a yes. knickknacks and other things? Quite contagious. Ah, uh, nothing I can think of. Um, <laughs> just like, like uh, clothing. Oh, like actually, uh, you could go visit a stone cutter. Uh, he often sorts through the, uh, the the ore that's pulled out of the mine back there and sorts Ooh, through it for well, gems. A mine. I wonder if they'd let us. Oh yes, mine. there's also a mine. What's the oh, name of the mine? Like the. Yes. <laughs> a pantomime. Yeah. The uh, the Cavago mine. mine. It's not a very creative name, admittedly, it, but is it's, not. It is descriptive. If you're looking for tourism, you might want to bump that name up a little bit. Something flashy. Ah, uh, well, I'm not really looking for. <laughs> Tourism? I'm a guard. The, the, like the Misty Mines. Ooh, that's going to be good. good haunted name. Misty Mines. That's Slap good haunted name. on anything, it'll be good. Yeah. Misty Mines. I'll have to run that by Mr. Archery. He might like that. Who's that? Ooh. Oh, he's the the ruler of Kvego. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. How'd like he come a, about? Like a mayor? Or? Uh, well, he's the richest person in the city. Well, that's how it works. Pretty much. Good to know. He can buy the most influence. He controls the city. Good to know. Crooked politics. Not a good selling point, but we could work past that. Or you could exploit it. I like this guy. <laughs> do you want to go seek justice? You want to get a drink? What, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, you doing? I just, I'm here for the money. Is he human? <laughs> he is human. Uh, How do you feel about elementals? <laughs> What's your son? <laughs> It's fire. <laughs> Burned down a general store. I'm such a Ganassi. <laughs> I just like Ganassi things. <laughs> uh, what, what is the uh, grocer you said? The fire spire? You said that was the blacksmith. You asked if it was a general store. Yeah. It, I'm <laughs> fucking with you, sir. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> I do love a place where the guards have a sense of humor. Yeah. I try to. That's good. I should start like What's a comedy that? show. What information are they trying to get? <laughs> it's not about here? information, Chessa. <laughs> uh, comedy show is not a bad idea, actually. Yeah. Have you considered it? Many times. Oh. So you must have something written. Gotta follow your dreams. You never know some what you want to cover, Chessa. Here's some of your material. Kvego Comedy. Oh, that's a good name. I'd love to get out of the sunlight. What is going on? Oh, yes, we could head back to the tavern. I'm sure they'll find their way home. I don't know if I want to go to the tavern. Do you know either. why all the guards General hang out around the mine? Possibly. Yes. No, why? Is not so they can mine me. their own business. General That's store. a good one. I like that. Great. Oh, mine. Yeah. Yeah, that's mine good. their own business. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, but really, is there like a general store? <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. No wonder it's not caught on. What is it, it called? <laughs> I hate that every NPC does this. Is there a thing? Yup. <laughs> you can tell me what it is. <clears throat> no. Oh. Bruh. <laughs> Uh, it's going to be, again, descriptive, but not very imaginative. Sure, understandable. Uh, Cavago up. General. Okay. General Cavago. And you said there was a, a stone stone cutter? Yes, a jeweler, yes. Stone cutter slash jeweler. Uh, at, son of a bitch. Oh, no. At Cavago Keepsakes. I, that's where I was going to write down anyway, so that's good. Uh, good, the, good, 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 good. The owner is uh, Talifrey Fleet Dew. Sorry. What? <laughs> Why? Why? Why are you, you just that the, uh, <laughs> stop, stop cackles from the roof. <laughs> just fall is off the, the roof. Is that the standard spelling of that? Or? <laughs> yes. Talifrey <laughs> Fleet Dew? Talifrey. Oh, wow. Oh, don't I'm be sorry. ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fucking sorry, dude. <laughs> It's a Talifrey Fleet Dew. It's your Mr. Fleet Dew to you. It sounds like similar shit. Oh, I'm head over to Cavago oh, Keepsakes. Put the door in. All right, where's Salivary? <laughs> where's Salisbury Steak? It's gone. <laughs> oh, no. T-A-L. Uh-huh. I-F. Yeah. Got it. So R-E-Y. Hard. Got it. Fleet Dew. Fleet do, not fleep do. D O O? D E W. God, I have to murder this person. I wanted to try gnome. and stop the killings, but uh, here we go. He, oh, ah, uh, that's an odd question to ask. Just based off the last name. Uh, he's a uh, gnome. Okay. Good. Tell the phrase a man. If it was a human, I would have been very concerned. Warning! What is your name, Warps? Alarm going off. It's like, 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 it's Great. I'm glad I'm not actually hung over. This would have been the worst. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for the information. Uh, oh, God. What's all you... this in? Yeah, what's... what's... Why, why are you all glommed up? I thought this was bustling side streets. Why Why here? Oh, uh, there's a body back there. Well, somebody Wait, important? Like, oh. like a dead one? Yes, a dead one. <laughs> no, a live one. But yes, uh, actually it was somebody important. Uh, it was one of our fellow guards. Well, I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's happened before. Um, the miss doesn't care. Is this I... a violent sort of city? No, not usually. Uh, the guards can be violent, but that's uh, so you're saying a guard could have done this. It's not likely. Guards usually don't drain other guards of blood. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh. <laughs> That's terrifying. Yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, the mist, when it kills, uh, we find people the next day with just no blood in their body. More guards, or? That's been civilians, guards, traitors, travelers. <laughs> well, uh, on that note, uh, prom, we better, uh, <laughs> we better, uh, we <laughs> better, <laughs> we better go. <laughs> Thanks again. Uh, what's your name? <laughs> oh, uh, my name. Yes. <laughs> oh no. Name, name. What's his name? Uh, Here's your chance. Make it normal. Jeff. Oh, good. Uh, Jeff. Jeffrey. <laughs> Jeff. Jeffrey. <laughs> Jeff, 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 Jeff. I can reinvent myself. Jeff. This is my chance. <laughs> Jeff. Jeff, Jeffrey. Is it Jeff or Jeff Jeffrey? Jeff Jeffrey. It's Jeff Jeffrey. It's Jeff Jeffrey. Jeff Jeffrey. Is that one, Is that, one uh, word? Jeff Jeffrey. It's a G O F F. Of course. There's any other. What about the last name? Oh, that's J E F F R Y. So Jeff Jeffrey. No, no, no. Jeff Jeffrey. Oh my god. Okay. Jeff Jeffrey, great. He's a guard, so sir. <laughs> Sorry, yes, thank you, Sir Jeff Jeffrey. Uh, <laughs> you're very welcome. Sir, oh. just Jeffrey. 
Again, I'm a uh, 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 flint cop. St- shit. <laughs> <laughs> You Chester, me. he's stroking out again. I you gotta get. Him. I gotta take him home. We gotta go. You told me your name was Chester. Yes. Uh, well, my middle name. Is it is Flint. It, you know. Well, Kelpstone. Flint's a type of stone. You know. It's a sort of a nickname. Dwarves, you know. <clears throat> sure. Well, good luck with your dead body. Thank you. <laughs> Have a good one. You too. Goodbye. What was that absolute fuckery you two <laughs> just did? We distracted the guards so that way our cat friend could look at the body. We Strain. also learned of the a majesty of, of Talifree Fleet do. <laughs> we gotta go talk to that guy. Yeah, we absolutely need Listen, to see after him. The, after Nicholas and Ackington went missing, <laughs> we have to make sure that this person's alright. Yes. Jeff Jeffrey. Yeah, the guard's name is Jeff Jeffrey, by the way. Oh, yeah. Can we please go inside? The sun is killing me. Sure. Yes. Cabago keepsakes. Yes. That's where we're headed? Yep. Yeah. Yep. For sure. That's the stone cutter? Yep. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> oh, and uh, Olaf, worth noting, the richest person in the city controls it. That's beautiful. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> really good. It's got a really, like, <laughs> tusk <laughs> smile. So you can control it. <laughs> right? Yeah, so that is helpful <laughs> to know. How much money do you have? <laughs> <laughs> so you can so, buy all the influence. So incredibly corrupt. Mm-hmm. So you walk into the next, not the next, the next, Kabeko keepsakes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, you walk in, Talifrey goes, <clears throat> Hello! What does he uh, look no? like? What, <laughs> does, he, what <laughs> does he look like? You never find Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I did kind of scare No, keep it clean. I want him to speak it's it's Oh, like. no, that's his voice. I just forgot to describe what he looks yes. like. Oh. Yeah, what uh, does the store look like and what does he look hat. like? <laughs> yeah. Hello, my baby. Hello, my baby. <laughs> Uh, it is a, you know, it's covered in, uh, there's geodes on the wall, like cut in half, displayed. Sure. Uh, bins of just gems, uh, just <laughs> spread out all over. Like, we can walk by them? Yeah. Oh my. Have you, ever, have you ever been in, like, a gemstone shop? They do just, they just have barrels of gemstones. Yes. Is there, like, nicer that ones behind, like, good. glass, or is there, like... Yeah, of course, the most expensive ones would be with him. Do they in look the barrel. real as we're walking by them? <laughs> uh, make a perception check? Yeah, are these, like, the... I would know. Yeah, uh-huh. fair. Yeah, yeah I'll trust rocks. Flint's judgment. Uh, as a stone eleven. daddy. For perception or investigation? Stone daddy. Stone daddy. Don't do me wrong. <laughs> Stone Daddy. <laughs> I guess investigation, you're right. Alright, it's it's only one better, so twelve. Okay. They they look real. You don't see any indication they'd be fake. Cool. Mm. You walk in, there's a short no man. Uh he's got a very thin chin beard. You know what I mean? Just right here. Oh no. <laughs> Does like it descend this? down like like an Egyptian beard? Sort of. It's okay. just like a straight line. Sure. You know the wrestler Snitsky? Like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, what? What like, um, references? Is it like um like handsome devil? I know a lot of wrestlers <laughs> that he could have went with. You know the president of Guatemala? <laughs> like, <Snitsky>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hang on. Oh my god. Oh no! <laughs> So that is kind That's of what, what I was thinking. Like. I was kind of correct. He kind of looks like the guy from God of War. The the other. Kratos. Mm-hmm. No, not Kratos. No. Snitsky. No. <laughs> Snitsky. <laughs> Snitsky. <laughs> anyway. The Guatemalan Prime Minister or whatever it was. <laughs> so very, you know, thin, straight, chin beard. Yep. Uh, no mustache, just that. Yeah. How old That's is even he? more unnerving. Yeah. Huh? How old is he? Or how does he look? He's a gnome. So does he look older? Does he look gnome's just inherently born old. <laughs> <laughs> so he's middle-aged-ish. Okay. You know, and some gray hairs poking through his chin beard. Okay. Um, his That's eye- why it holds the age. <laughs> his eyebrows are just kind of like that. Oh, Jesus. They're just... Claws? <laughs> yeah. No, they're really bushy. Bane. His eyebrows have fingers. <laughs> I see the legend of the fleet dude. <laughs> so there's, a, you know, his eyebrows kind of like spread out really far sure. and they're really bushy yeah, and yeah, yeah, sure. They and flare and, out. All right. And you walk in and he... Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Is there anyone else in the store? Uh, no, it'd be empty. Cool. I would have transformed back, by the way, just to clarify. <laughs> I'm no longer Chester. Good. I like it. 
Um, what can I do for you? We're uh, new to town, just okay. venturing through the stores. Welcome to Kabago Keepsakes. I love your voice. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It's <laughs> great. So dreamy. Yeah. <laughs> um, something I can do for you all? I uh, guess we're curious as to. We've heard that you gather these things from uh, inside of the mines, yes? That's correct, yes. We're new in town and uncertain as to what the, uh, hmm, forgive me for being blunt, uh, what the economical value is of a place like Cabego so out of the way. Hmm. Well, where did you come from? We came from Anax- Anaxi. Most of the other places that we've been described have been <laughs> along that river that ascends mm, along you the central came part. came from Anaxi. Yes. Uh, I heard uh, about a group of adventurers there that helped out my friend Jawara. Was that you all? Of course it was. She's mm-hmm. a wonderful lady. She is indeed. Yes. Her voice is a bit grating at times. But <laughs> uh, these two hanging out. <laughs> hello, hello. Oh, hello. 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 <laughs> well, um... Yes, our good friend Chessa here was a great fan of Jawara specifically. Mm. Her wonderful, uh... Voice. Quills, yes. Yes, and the voice, of course, Flint, but yes, the quills. Oh, <laughs> you got one of her famous pens, I see. It's, it's good. It's a very good purchase. Yes. They're good pens. Yes, I quite enjoy are. them. I got the box for it, too. Good call. <laughs> um, but anyway... Uh, That's the economical yes, situation uh, here in Cavego. As, as you, I'm sure you could imagine, the gems are more rare than the ore that we pull from the mine. Um, the gems are sold from here and sent to Jawara in the Naxi. Uh, we have a working relationship, you could call it. Um, and we operate on good faith. I send the gems onward and she returns with the amount of gold from a pre-established figure. Like a contract, yes? Sort of, in a way, yes. Um, so then do you ship your gems through Eastwich? Oh, yes. Or, okay, I wasn't sure whether or not you ascend directly northeast through the forest. Oh, no. To Treacherous? Very, yes. Those woods Is that are... demon giving you problems? He was. Not anymore? I haven't... Well, flash my necklace. Oh! We stomped hey. him right out. Good. I'm very impressed. Uh... Tales of your adventures are <coughs> beginning to spread. It's good. You're yes. starting to build a reputation. Good to hear. Um, now, as, as I'm sure you could imagine, the ore is very valuable and also necessary to be sent throughout the... Uh... Are you about to sneeze again? I'm holding it back. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I just get so passionate about talking about ore. <laughs> Uh, gets all choked up. <laughs> the ore is quite valuable as well. Um, that as well is sent from here to Eswedge and then on to Nanaxi. Where then, I imagine it's probably purchased by other cities throughout Orvigo and sent mm. from there to those cities. Interesting. Mm. You must be quite the successful businessman then. I make a fair amount, yes. Strange. Enough to pay a guard to protect me. Yeah, strange then for you to not be... Ruler of Cavego. Oh no, I don't have as much money as Mr. Archery. What does Mr. Archery do then? Well, he rules. Where is this? Is it family money? Or where does it come from? Archie rules. Oh, uh. <laughs> so. <laughs> this is sort of complicated. Um, we have time. Should I like lock close the door? The door. <laughs> Archery, yeah. right? Mr. Archery uh-huh. has purchased all of the guards in the city. Oh god. All of those guards work for Mr. Archery first, yep. but you're also able to hire those guards for yourself. So if I hire a guard, which I have for my shop... They give a cut to him? I pay Mr. Archery, yes. How did he come across this money? Yeah, how did it start? Like how, did, how was he able to buy the guards in the first place? Oh, well, I suppose he started with one, then made some money from him, and then From another. the guard? And another, and eventually grew to where he is now. Uh, he's not always been the ruler of Kavego. So he's made his money by pimping out guards? That seems... <laughs> That's a pyramid scheme for guards. Yeah. Right. <laughs> this, 
There I mean, if you get something... two guards underneath you, <laughs> they're in your downline. You tell seven friends. <laughs> it's not a pyramid scheme. It's an inverted funnel. <laughs> it's gotta be something else. <laughs> That's, for the most part, really it. Um, of course, you know, his guards are taxing, I guess you could say. Uh, and by that, I mean they take taxes. Okay, uh, that is helpful. So, I'm sorry, I just want to get this straight. So, this archery person came, did he, was he from He was born here, yes. And he decided to recruit a friend as a guard. No, I don't know if I may, might have been a friend, and perhaps. And then he told somebody, if you give me money, I'll let him guard you? Correct. And then he continued to recruit more people, and that's how he became the most wealthy person in this town. Correct. Who did he take over from? Uh, the last guy. Oh, uh, the last guy's name. Man, it's been some time. How long, yeah, and how long has he been in the Bob Bobley. <laughs> hey, it's Bob Bobley. It was Jeff Jeffries, actually. <laughs> Bob Harper. Um, Talifree Dufleet. Yeah. <laughs> Once this name loads, I'm going to go to the bathroom, too. Mm-hmm. Sure. Oh, the last guy, uh, it was Korg Stag. Sorry, Korg Stag. <laughs> Corstag? Corstag Amblehorn. And bathroom Very good. Corstag. The heresy. Okay. Nope, I guess wrong. <laughs> Anglehorn? Amblehorn. 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 So they're not even really guards, they're more mercenaries. Yeah, it seems well, like it. Is the more the most. Yeah. Yeah. Seems like it's a good fit for us specifically. Uh-huh. Yeah. Once again. <laughs> yep. So here's what I'm thinking: the two of you go undercover and try to get into the guards and start working for the guards. <laughs> and yeah. burn the tower. It's almost <laughs> like the same plan. It's just gonna just get run back. Mr. Archer's vault. <laughs> yeah. Let's go the other way. This time. Gonna be so- Me and Chess will grow, and yeah. we'll be like, "Yeah, we're so strong. Let's be guards." Look at our look at our strong bones. <laughs> <laughs> look at our strong bones. <laughs> Continue to drink my coffee. Mm-hmm. I kind of just look over at Olaf and just... Mm. Uh, uh, two for two. <laughs> mm. uh, I mean, yeah, no, this sounds like a pretty... I'm getting uh, a little hungry. Yeah, seems like a pretty solid plan. Instead, let's Ocean's Eleven his house. We're never here. <laughs> yep. <laughs> no infiltration. Yes. <laughs> sounds like the bigger problem is the... mist creature? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Correct, yeah, there is no reason why we would need to liberate these people from him. He's not... Yeah, causing any the harm. City unless is easily corruptible, individual. yes, but it's not. It doesn't seem right. to be going that way. Uh, I'm not a huge him. fan of this ar- ar- archery person. Unless he has something to do with the mist. But he hasn't given me any reason directly to hate him. Oh, we haven't met him. Yeah. That could so, all change. So he's made his judgment. Yep. <laughs> he's got to be like a drug dealer or something. He's absolutely. <laughs> he's a pimp. He's straight up a pimp. Yeah. Like he something. He, he hires people and, and makes other people pay for their services. I mean, <laughs> I just think about it how uh, the I can't think of his name. Hold on, security pimp. Essentially. Hmm. Mister Mister Fleet, do yes. Do you like archery? Uh, he's a good man. No corruption. I, I know that's a common trait sometimes with leaders, and especially somebody who's able to work their way up the system the way he did. Well, I've actually never met him, to no. be honest. Are his policies fair? Uh, Are there even policies in a city like this? If you have gold, you're fine. Yes. And what of those who don't? They usually don't make it here very long. So the poor just leave? Too expensive to stay? Sort of, yes. Um, Has anyone met him? I'm sure. How do you go about paying him for your guard? You pay the guard. And then the guard gives the money to Archery? Yeah. People have met him. I'm sure they have. Was Cavego a rich area prior to Archery? Or was Archery the one that brought the wealth to the city? (laughs) Uh, it has always been a wealthy city, yes. He lives in town, though, yeah? I'm sure. Again, I've never met him. Um, I've never followed the guard to see if they deliver the money to a person. Uh, Mr. Archery is very... Private? Yes. What do you pay a guard for a day's labor? 
Uh, it's two gold. Flint, I'm feeling quite vulnerable. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Holy! Like emotionally, we can talk about it later if that's. I'm going to need the water figure, Flint. Okay. <laughs> just, um, just, I'll just dump. I'll just dump him out. <laughs> Tears into a dancing thing. No, 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 no. Look at his happy dance. <laughs> happy tears. Um, Mr. Mr. Uh, Fleet do. This is, it seems very sad that you probably are one of the one merchants in this town that are bringing the city majority of its wealth, and yet you haven't even met its leader. He hasn't come over to introduce himself or speak to you? I make a fair amount, that's to be sure. I mean, uh, doesn't the city make its wealth off of the the mountain? Off the mines, yes. And uh, you sell the wares, correct? I sell the gems, they sell the ore. <clears throat> mm. Who sells the ore? The city, Mr. Archery. Does he have his own shop that he sells these at? No, it gets shipped out. Oh, oh, yes. okay. So it's the... Go to the ore store. Yeah. <laughs> That's store. a good name. <laughs> I like it. Ore store. Ores and more. What's the password to the ore store? <laughs> Or. <laughs> um. <laughs> so get you more. gotta get more. Down to the so you don't work the with <laughs> shipping out the ore. No, that's not my job. So what do you do with? So what is your connection with Joara? I sell her gems. Yeah. Oh, okay. Not the actual stuff. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um. Mm. Mr. Fleet, do I like reach into my bag and I pull out the tiara? Are you familiar with the one stone that's in here? It's a gemstone, to be sure. Do you know what you're holding? No. Do you know what I'm holding? Having a clue. I've heard tale of it, yes. Care to enlighten me? Oh, you don't know. Okay. Um. Well, it was said that when Clav was cast down to Orvigo, Mm -hmm. he was presented with a crown and told that this land was now his dominion and he should be portrayed as such or made to look as if he were the king king of this land, I suppose, yes. Um... From what I recall, there were three gems in his crown, two purple, one red, uh, with the red gem being the most prominent in in the center, uh, and that appears to be the gem you were missing. Do you know if this crown possesses any power or any... I'm not sure. I've only heard legend of it. I mean, that may not even be the crown. It could be one made to look similar. Uh, This isn't... You know, esoteric folklore. This is pretty widely known. You said they gave him the crown. Who's they? Fabroxy. So they gave him the crown and then he was casted? Correct. Interesting. It's an odd punishment. Happy birthday. You're in trouble. <laughs> Get the fuck down there. <laughs> You've committed the first <laughs> murder. Here's your crown. Do we know what You're a horrible did. person. Long live. What Lang. Clive did? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The, well, not, you, you were told by the bard guy. Um, Bartman. That he went out on a hu- hunting trip. Oh, God, I almost fucked that up. Uh, we <laughs> went out on a humping trip. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. If you didn't say it, we wouldn't have known. I know. Yikes. But that wouldn't have been as fun. Uh, um, he went out on a hunting on first, trip. Killer. <laughs> with uh, three of his friends, two of his friends. Uh, while they were out, one of them got murdered. And Clav was blamed for it. They told, you know, said it was Clav, and he had no means of defending himself. Uh-huh. Didn't have a way to prove that it wasn't him, so. Yeet! <laughs> well, Here's wait, a crown. No. So they gave him and, a crown, and then he did it. Crown. And they said he was to be king of this new land? Not necessarily like, hey, you're the king of that land now. It's like mocking. But more so, like, yeah, this is your crown, that's His your land. Empire sure. of dirt? Go on, yeah. get. Have yes. used the head that wears the crown. It's essentially yes. like him, like, crowning him, like. Like Hades, like here you go. Mm-hmm. Welcome to your underworld. Go mm-hmm. fuck yourself. Like, are you saying that he's gonna let us down? He'll <laughs> make me hurt. hurt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, uh, yes, there's that. Um, 
I suppose that could be the real one. Um, so it's missing. So it's got the one red stone, but the other no. two are missing. It has or, the two oh, purple, it has the purple missing the red. red. Um, what kind of red stone? I mean, and I kind of point to my uh, like bracelet and my necklace. I have red stones. Is there a specific type of red stone? Um, like a power stone. I also gave you the ruby to inlay into your weapon. Mm -hmm. The ruby of the war mage. Mm -hmm. So she does have a ruby definitively. I don't know what the other red stones that she has in her possession. I just mean in terms of making right. the comparison. Yeah, I believe I still have the red gemstone that you gave me. The just basic gemstone. Right. I'm not sure of. Uh... We just pull out 15 <laughs> red ones. What? what? Yeah. <laughs> which which red? <laughs> I'm not so sure many. which stone it is exactly. Uh, I don't think it's any one type of stone. I think it is a specific stone that you would be looking for. Understood. Very good. It is odd, though. What is? Most of the time, when replica crowns are made, uh, they're not made with the missing gem. They're made with all three of them. So it is odd that that one's missing a gem, but perhaps it fell out. Do people purchase replicas of Clav's crown? Not so much purchase, but some are made. Uh, and then acquired, maybe not purchased, but some have been given as gifts. Certainly. I, I do um, know Buy them at an open market kiosk. Yeah. Buy a class crown! Yeah. I um, reach into my bag mm -hmm. and fish out a gold coin and go, this is between you and me that I own this. Okay. I'm pretty sure this is a replica, but on the off chance that it isn't. Well, most certainly just a... Very shoddily made replica. Sure, I found this in an alley. It's probably a replica. Please. Sure. I. Given how you helped my friend Jawara, the gold is admittedly kind of insulting. Um, but given that you helped Jawara, I'm more than happy to be discreet about my knowledge. Very well. Thank you. Of course. Yes, sir. Would you like to buy anything? I'm a gem store after all. Are the gems here in whatsoever way enchanted? No. Or are they used to then be enchanted by Juara? That's exactly it, yes. So if we brought a particular gemstone back to Juara, would we be able to have some kind of enchantment done on a, a lower cost, yes? Sure. Yes, there's no cost in shipping, I suppose. Don't have to pay the dock. <coughs> yes, we could work that out. Fantastic. Thank you. Of course. Chessa? Yes? I think when we arrive at the museum, we should look into potential uses for gemstones for communication purposes. I think it would be valuable for us in case uh, somebody's a little further away than another person to be able to still speak to them, stay in touch. Definitely a good idea. I've heard of such devices before. <clears throat> Would she know anything about like sending stones or anything mm -hmm. comparable? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, you would. Mm -hmm. I've encountered sending stones in the past. Um, don't know how to make them, but... Perhaps Jawara does. Perhaps we can read as to what stones we need to ascertain. Thank you. Well, we'll be back. Okay, uh, yes, I will be here. Yes, forgive us, we... I do not want to purchase the incorrect stones. We are functioning on a limited supply of gold for now. We did have to spend much of it on our travels here. I understand. But we intend to make much money in Cavigo while we can. Do you have any diamonds? Uh, <coughs> yes, of course, uh, a few. Good to know. Would you like to purchase one? As my friend just said, we've, we've spent uh, a decent amount just getting around. We'll definitely be back, though. Once we have the funds, mm -hmm. yes. Absolutely. Yes, well, I look forward to your return. Of course. Be careful. Uh, of course, try not to stay out after night. Yes. I'm sure you're all aware, but... Yes, we've been told. Good, good. Have a good one. You too, sir. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>
<clears throat> was I in charge of redistributing people's belongings back in yep. in Axie? <laughs> we didn't do that. Nope. <laughs> we'll, get, we'll, we'll figure that out later. It's fine. <laughs> I can do about it now. <laughs> Still have everyone's money. Yep. Was, my currency yeah. was like, that's too much. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Just left with their money. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And we left the warehouse with all their shit. We didn't set anyone up to distribute it back. <laughs> we were like, oh, we'll make a list of names. You guys can report. Yeah. <laughs> I walked out because I was like, I don't give a fuck about any of that shit. Uh -huh, yeah, Oops. No, no, talk never yep. really good. Yep. <laughs> Should go back to the hospital. Well, no, we told them where to find it. So it's like, you guys want your stuff. Go yeah, and take distribute it. it yourself. Absolutely. That's so they know. <laughs> that's the money store. Yes. <laughs> but Ziffly could have taken it. Yeah, Sarah's looking at 700 plus fucking gold. <laughs> and it's like, am I really this? Rich? Like, that's not right. Uh, I have a lot. Yeah, I, yeah. So I have a lot. That might not be, yeah. No, that's not ours. I think we wound up distrib- We, because we got it before we knew it belonged yeah. to everyone. Yeah. I mean, I just know I've spent a solid five to six hundred on magic items for people. So, oh, yeah. like, I know that's why I'm poor as fuck. I've spent the most gold. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. It might be- Oh my god, I thought Don was just kicking his way in. <laughs> Hello! That's how we fucking shit peas! It's <laughs> Donnie! <laughs> I thought you were kicking the door open. No. I the chickpea strength. <laughs> yes. All this low calorie, high protein content. <laughs> That's what they're here for in this stream, I guess. I'm too strong. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go to the fucking museum. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. How much time has passed? Am I feeling any yeah, better? Yeah, are you feeling fine? You're, yeah, make another con check. Uh, do it with advantage. I had a lot of coffee. You've yeah, had a lot of coffee, coffee and bread. bread. Mm -hmm. so Eggs. Food, yep. Eggs. Same for you. Okay, that's probably fine. I feel 18. worse. <laughs> <laughs> it's too, too much egg. <laughs> you didn't have any eggs. You didn't I didn't have bread. A shit ton of bread and you coffee. Should've, you should have mm -hmm. eaten some the eggs. eggs. Uh, yeah, you feel worse. <clears throat> oh, guys, I need to sit for a second. Uh, you should go throw up. It might help. <laughs> It'll probably help. I'll bear it back, <laughs> and I go behind the, the store and try and throw up. <laughs> I feel much better. There Good call, go. guys. Okay. That's so, what I do. I'm having a bad day, just go throw up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling sad. Get rid, of, get rid of the demons. <laughs> <laughs> gotta expel them from inside of you. Sometimes you just gotta just scream. Mm -hmm. So you make your way through the bustling city. Mm -hmm. Please don't scream. Mm -hmm. ah! <laughs> <laughs> not, not there yet. As of right now, you are at the gem cutter, mm -hmm. which is actually next door. To, yeah, it's to, next uh, to the and, Honorable Pike. Right, yep. So you're going to head northeast. <clears throat> toward. Mm -hmm. I have it marked on the map, actually. Yep. Mm -hmm. Orvigo Origins. So. Yeah. You yep. can see Orvigo Origins. You head on over there. Uh, you walk in. Before we walk in, I want to stop the party and go, should I not mention this crown anywhere else we go? Or? It seems, like it might. seems that it might be more important than you believe. What better place to ask, though, than a museum? Correct, but do we want to draw that kind of attention to Maybe ourselves? Maybe ask about it, uh, don't show it. Scholars, they may seem timid, especially compared to this group of people. Yeah. They will often do anything for something they find interesting. Well, that sounds wonderful. Yeah, that's helpful. <laughs> yes, helpful that, that's exactly if, the kind of business that Flint and I are in. If they, <laughs> if they think we have something that they're intrigued by, they may stop at nothing to get it. Well, what's wrong with that? If we do I not wish to get to do, it to I don't them. feel like dealing with them if I don't have to. What do you mean? I'm trying to get out of here. Cabego? Or we go. Strange. <laughs> All right. I don't. I don't okay. want to be bothered with these scholars. Scholars, if I don't have to. Very good. Why well, keep the crown at all then? If that perhaps can buy my way out of here, this is a valuable piece of history. Hmm. Or a replica. Or a replica. Who knows? If even the dragon won't leave, who would take you? I haven't given up hope yet. One closed door, another one may open. Sure. Can't give up yet. We are ever optimistic, aren't we, Flint? We certainly are. Could practice our climbing skills. Yes, climbing. 
All right. Your choice. I think Ron makes a good point. Ask about it. Don't necessarily show it. Perhaps these guys know a little bit more about it. Being as though it's a museum. And they do love their stories in Orbigo. <clears throat> yes. All right. Tuck it deep back into my bag. All right. Into the museum. It's empty. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Sorry. No, it's not empty. <laughs> <clears throat> you have to speak a word and it appears. Were you expelling the demons? <laughs> no, I just realized I did a weird thing. Uh oh. I'll fix it as we go along. It'll be <laughs> fine. It's fine. I mean, if it's something that occurred recently and you need to retcon it, that is not a problem. No, it's not something that occurred recently. It's, okay. it's a thing that's getting ready to come up. Okay. All right. Um, I'll figure it out. We'll be fine. There's a bomb in the museum. <laughs> There's a bomb in the museum. On the ground. <laughs> this is like Man, a why did I think a bomb at the door was a good idea? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think they'd just walk in. Night at the museum. Yeah. Let's, do it. Let's get Teddy Roosevelt involved. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Fuck it. The way I have it done is fine. You're going to meet the night All guard, right. Stan Biller. There's a bomb in the door. <laughs> There's a There's bomb in the museum. <laughs> Um, wow, this place is the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> no, you walk in. Uh, as you, the, We'll say the doors are open. They swing inward. They're propped up and open. Uh, you can see spread out in front of you, um, you know, shelves, things. Uh, the shelves kind of make like a jewelry store counter that we would identify, you know what I mean, where it kind of makes a... A U-shape? Yeah, but squared easy. off. Okay. You know what I mean? Like this. Okay. Um, <laughs> beyond the counters, you can see things like hanging oh. on the wall, lots of paintings. Is it a large oh. building? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty large. Okay. So. Pink. <laughs> uh, all right. How large in your mind? Like 60 wide, 80 wide? Probably... Yeah, uh, probably like 60 by 60. 60 so it would be a square okay. room. Okay. Um, in the center, you can see there's one large glass display case right in the middle of the floor. Uh, inside of it, you see a sword just kind of leaned on, you know, point down on its hilt, just leaning. Uh, it looks pretty old, very rusted, very tarnished. Um, like it's being displayed. Yes. Like not on a not shoved into or don't, like it's just literally just kind of there in a pedestal. It's not okay. Excalibur. Where yeah. did you say it is? Right in the center of the floor. Center of the room on a pedestal. Yep. How big is the sword? It's a long sword. A regular sword okay. size. In comparison to like the sword that Ziffly had. Smaller. Yeah. This one is huge. Yeah. Size. Okay. And that is on a pedestal. Is there like um? It's in a glass case. Okay. Is there like a placard or anything beneath it that would have any kind of? Mm -hmm. Inscription? Yep. Yeah, cool. Uh, the rest of the room you can see uh, in the display cases that, you know, line the room like this. Yeah. There's other things throughout there. Um, okay. You see there's some taxidermied animals on the walls. Okay. Are there doors on any of the opposite three walls outside of the entrance door? There would be one against the wall opposite the entrance door. Okay. Is there anybody in the museum? <clears throat> of course. Okay. Uh, you see there's a human man, uh, tight trimmed beard close to his face uh, it's very gray gray beard gray hair uh, he's wearing <clears throat> glasses some finer clothes not you know like rich person clothes but you know pretty fine clothes mm -hmm. you walk in and he goes oh hello um, was he standing by anything in particular when we entered yeah he'd be standing near the door at the opposite wall behind that counter okay um, he says uh, well hello Good afternoon, sir. Hi. Hello. Um, Hello. My name is Kane Silver Hollow. I am the curator of this fine establishment. K A N E or C? Uh, K A N E. I guessed incorrectly. Jessa, what is a curator? A curator uh, usually is the one that collects these items finds them and decides in which method to display them. Beautiful. Often is pretty well versed. With things of this nature? Mm -hmm. Very good. Gathered these over a long life, yes? Yes, indeed. Um, 
many of them have been purchased from adventurers like yourselves. <clears throat> the artwork was actually done by several artists throughout Orvigo. How does Orvigo art look? Is there like a specific... Like palette or palette, mood, style, yeah. Aesthetic. Um, I'll say as you look at all the paintings, you notice that they're of different animals. Mm -hmm. uh, so you see one has, we're well, not necessarily animals, but creatures. Mm -hmm. uh, one you can see has goblins on it. Uh, another is a swarm of the lightning bugs, you know, multicolored mm -hmm. swarm. Uh, you see one with carbuncles, another with tiger fish, and then one with an owl bear. The owlbear is obviously much darker than the rest of them. The owlbear itself is painted amongst trees, blood dripping from its claws. Very <clears throat> fearsome looking. Are they like super, super highly detailed paintings? Like very, very They're good paintings. intricate. Yeah. Or was it like a little bit looser of a painting? Like It's not like a kindergartner. Well, like more but... muddled paint and whatnot, like no sharp lines or anything. It's not a quality difference, just a style difference. Yeah. Is what right. trying yes, to yeah. It's a style difference, not a quality difference, right? Are there any, um, like, busts or, like, uh, like pictures of, like, people or... What? <laughs> so which is it? Is it sharp lines? Is it sharper or, or, or like, a little oh, bit looser <laughs> for the paint style? I was saying that he's not describing a quality difference. He's describing a style difference, mm -hmm. which is yeah. it. Are they, like, hyper-realistic or are they, like... Like, uh, imagine... Oh, oh, yeah. are they... Okay. They're... Like, the painting in your room versus, like, a painting of, like, George Washington. A little bit looser with the painting that I did for your room or... It, it wasn't... Uh, I don't know how to describe this I'm just curious. Like, if, if it's something that it's, like, they're going to take, like, excessive amounts of time to paint this or is it, like, I painted this in, like, about a month? They're finer paintings. Okay. I mean... They're not garbage, but they're not, you know, they're paintings you would expect to see in a museum. There's a fine arts that's, guild. That's... I need to find it. <laughs> not an artist, I don't know. Mm -hmm. They look good. <laughs> that's a good paint. Good paint. They look good. You like them. <laughs> Shut up. You like all of them. They're great. I need to find this fine arts guild. Mm -hmm. Do they hmm. look the same? Like, but like the same, the same, same, same kind of artist. For the most part, uh, <laughs> same picture over and over. <laughs> they were, like he said, they were all painted by different artists throughout yes. the city. So the style is always slightly different, mm -hmm. but it's still like a still life painting. They must have trained together. Do we see any tapestries along the wall? No. Damn. Are there any portraits or busts? Portraits would be the paintings. Uh, busts. There's no. I mean, like portraits of like a person, person. or like people oh. and things uh, like that. Uh, no, nope. oh, that would explain why what's his name didn't have any pictures of his family. Yeah, the artist can't paint people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good at it. Just can't see faces. Um, there are <laughs> also <fake> blindness. <laughs> there are also paintings, uh, you know, interspersed with the <laughs> monsters of all the different cities throughout Orvigo. Gotcha. Okay. Hmm. Well, friend. Yes. Uh, our good companion here is Scholar. Are you? Well equipped for things of this nature. You know, someone once told me uh, there's a message hidden in these paintings and I've stared at them for some time and have never been able to... A message, you say? Yes. Like uh, a puzzle. Sort of, correct. I've never been able to figure out what it is, or... Who told you that? Uh, another scholarly type person. Uh, he came in here about a week ago, ranting about a demon, and... A scholar entered your museum and told you that there is a message amidst your paintings? That's correct. Had the scholar ever been in Cavego before? I don't know. I didn't think to ask, to be honest. Has this museum always been yours? Yes. Ranting yes. about a demon... What, oh. what kind of demon? Oh, he didn't say. He said it had four arms and... Probably the one that we stomped. <laughs> yeah. We killed that demon. Oh, Demon's dead. good. Good. It will not bother you again. That's not good. Even, not even... Not even a little bit. He not was, even a little bit. We smushed him good. He's gone. That's very good. Um, it doesn't exist. That scholar was... 
<clears throat> With the ooze in it. <laughs> that scholar was here, uh, offering me anything he was able to find in there after killing the demon, but he ran away in fear, obviously, as he could not kill it, and then came to me to secure placement of whatever he found there. Chessa, how about those books? I pull out the disgusting... The four, the four moldy yeah. wet books. Ooh. Um, Ooh. If I could see those oh, wet please. books. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, they are quite, quite damaged. A lot uh, of water damage. Yes, indeed. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> That's a book. <laughs> but I do Knowledge. recognize these runes. Uh, I can't read them, and I don't know what they mean. But I have seen some similar. In fact, we have some here. And he gestures over towards, like, sections of stone where you can see similar runes mm-hmm. carved into the stone. Like a tablet? Like like the sort Rosetta of. Stone style yeah. stuff? Okay. He goes, I, um, I suppose I can try to clean these up as best as I can and then display them. I greatly appreciate your donation. Donation? Yes. Forgive me, I'm not familiar with that word. Oh, um... You give them to me, and then I keep them, and display them for the good of Orvigo. Without any payment? This sounds like theft. Without any payment? That's correct. I just laugh. I'm very confused. Must be a a joke. Yes, uh, so what is the payment then? Friends, friends. Let's let's hear him out, you know, there's... Oh no, I hear him, I'm just confused. It's very simple, there is no payment. Um, a payment of knowledge, perhaps. It is a donation, uh, so that way others in the future can come here and gaze upon the wonders that have been procured from our land. You don't even know if they're wonders. They're found in a hole in the ground. Well, they're history. History is wondrous. Mm-hmm. Especially in a land like this, where our history is all relatively recent. Just like a garbage man. I don't know. I th- wait, I'm not getting this. The back room is just stuffed with a bunch of trash. <laughs> Look at all this treasure. Sir, uh, we went through plate. a great Candy deal of trouble plate. to acquire these wondrous items. Okay. If you do not wish to donate them, you don't have to. I mean, would you be willing to pay for these items? Then it's not a donation. Correct. It's, but you would be able to own He doesn't them. make any money running this place. How do you survive in this city? What do you mean? We've been told this city is fueled by wealth and that the poor don't make it, yet you charge nothing for your museum. Oh, I'm, I'm very sorry. Um, yes, this museum was actually opened by Mr. Archery his, himself. Uh, he pays me in lodging and food and necessities to operate this museum. And I procure goods from travelers and send people out sometimes in search of artifacts to keep here. Does Mr. Archery ever come here? Not usually. He gazes upon his collection. He sends a guard in his stead. Has Um, he ever taken anything? From here? Uh, No. Have you met Mr. Archery? Come to think of it, no, I haven't. How did he employ you? He sent a guard. The guard had orders from him. He built a museum? Yes. And then found you with a guard. didn't build it by hand. Um, Of course, the building was already here. What was it before? Oh, I'm not sure. Uh, Some historian. (laughs) (laughs) Kidding. Square up. (laughs) (laughs) Let's do this. Make it quick. (laughs) It's been some time, but I can dust off the old... Let's go and nation. (laughs) Procure these hands. (laughs) Real freedom fighter. Uh, I'm going to make a chair. A guard came and offered you this job on behalf of Mr. Archery. That's correct, yes. And the guard gives me a set amount of gold each day for me to buy food and such. Um... So you could pretty much never leave then? Well, I could if I wanted to, I'm sure. You don't have any money, like additional money. If oh, ever, no, no, right. just enough to live. Yeah, so you're stuck here. It's kind of has you trapped. Not really, I, I'm free to leave. Yeah, but Are what, you? You, how would you get anywhere? I would just walk. Yeah, and then you'd probably either be killed, you wouldn't be able to like take a boat because you wouldn't be able to pay for it, you wouldn't be able to get lodging anywhere else. 
I suppose that's fucking stuck, bud. Fair. That seems like a yeah. That's a, a bad deal. Well, extra compensation. <laughs> Maybe he could donate you some more money. If you would like to donate me money, that would no, be excellent. I, I can use that for Mr. Archery. Yeah. Would donate you the money. Yeah. Oh. You uh, should ask for a raise. That's what yes, we're saying. Please. Oh. Uh, I suppose I can try that, sure. Um, that may be nice. Have some extra money to my name. Is it always the same guard? Yeah, actually. What is his name? Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Jeff Jeffrey. Jeff Jeffrey. Alustra. Alustra Stout Hallow. All right. Sorry, what Hollow. What does this Alestra look like? Well, he has wild green eyes. Um, <laughs> brown hair that's just kind of all over the place. Very unkempt. Uh, wrinkled face and chunky build. And this is the man that he sends out to do his bidding? Uh, he sends him that's who I work with every day, yes. He drops off <clears throat> my gold and make sure that everything is appropriate within the museum. Very good. Indeed. Um, sorry, we seem to have gotten sidetracked. Uh, but yes, there is allegedly a puzzle within my paintings that I've not been able to discover. I would Tessa. like to wander over to the paintings. Okay. Uh, you've got the choice between goblin, lightning bug, carbuncle, tigerfish, owlbear. Do any of them look out of place? For I example... I won't say any of them look out of place. None of the, like, foliage looks distinctly non-Orvigo or... There is, uh you know, differences in each painting. Uh, so, for example, you can see there's one owl bear in its painting. Um, many carbuncles, or many lightning bugs, uh, many tiger fish, and then a few goblins and carbuncles. So the, the number of creatures in each painting is very... Like one, two, varied. three, four, five? Like, how varied are we... So you, you take some time to kind of look around and count all of the mm -hmm. creatures in the paintings. One owl bear, mm -hmm. eighteen tiger fish, four carbuncles, twenty five lightning bugs, and eight goblins. How many goblins? Eight. And a partridge and a pear tree, I assume. Yes, of course. Good, 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 good. I really like this man's voice. What? Can we get DJ? close to the paintings? Yes. <laughs> what was the order of the paintings? One owl bear. No, 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 not numerical in terms of around the thing. Uh, it would have been that. So, so sorry, starting from it? the left to the right, it yeah. would have gone owl bear, tiger fish, carbuncles, lightning bugs, goblin. Can we get close to the paintings? Like, are they, like, roped off, or are they... They're on the other side of the display counter, so you can get within, like, five feet of them. Okay, I just stalk would be looking at the lightning bug one. <laughs> I want to go check out the sword. Okay. Yeah, I'm also going to go look at the sword. Cool. You walk over and look at the sword. Like I said, it looks very rusted. Uh, the hilt, you know, is pretty rough. Um, but do you see there's a little placard underneath of it that says, uh, Utaist sword? It's just a long sword? Mm-hmm. Old rusty long sword. Any, like, embellishments or anything on it? Mm -hmm. it Pretty just, basic. Like, very plain. Is it rusted or just tarnished? It's both. Okay. It's rusted and tarnished, yeah. Uh, okay. I want to go over and look at the sword also. Mm-hmm. Um... Kane, are you familiar with the story of Utais? Of course, yes. What do you know about him? Uh, well, the legend says that 
Utaist was cast down from for Broxy. He was the first. Um, I heard a story about Utaist that before he was cast down, he was deemed king of Portigo. Yes, in a way. Uh, that was sort of a tongue-in-cheek joke. Uh, from what I understand about old the way Fabroxy was before and the past and how it has become now, uh, they believe there was nothing here. It was clear. You could see this land from, from Fabroxy. Uh, you could see the trees and the rivers laid out. Uh, but I guess they thought that whoever was cast over those falls would not live. Uh, so it was kind of a tongue-in-cheek joke. You'd be the king of your dominion, thinking he would die and be the king of his dominion, if you see what I mean. I heard that he was given a crown. I don't know if that's true or not. So that's what the legend says, yes. That there was a crown involved. Uh, I don't believe one has ever been found. At least not a reputable real one. The rest of them have been cheap replicas. Often made from bad metal and glass gems. Why would somebody want to make a replica of a crown? It's a piece of lore, legend, you know. Some people look upon that more fondly than others and choose to remember it with physical objects. How certain can you be that this is exactly his sword? Pretty certain. Um, it's quite old, as I'm sure you can tell. I'm sure there's any number of old weapons in Orvigo. I'm sure, yes. Uh, however, this one was also found with a piece of paper, a parchment. Mm. <laughs> what does it say? The parchment. Mm. I, don't, I don't know what else could be formulated. What you got? I mean, in terms of correlation for numerical value to letter of the alphabet, it presents as A R D Y H, but we were trying to solve uh, rearrangement. <laughs> Ardy? Spell it backwards. Hydra. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Hydra. Hydra. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's mm -hmm. what it says. Oh, Hydra. Mm -hmm. Hydra. What the fuck does that <laughs> mean, DJ? <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> <laughs> You know, that was why we were literally <laughs> saying, like, what other words can we formulate with us? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the piece of paper you're wondering, what the parchment says. Uh, this is Utais. <laughs> Don't touch. <laughs> Give me a moment. Uh, I will be right back with it. We keep it in the back room. It's very precious to us. And goes, and he comes back soon with, like, a hearty wood top. Luke! Like, Luke! <laughs> Luke! It is hearty! <laughs> it is hearty! <laughs> you liar! <laughs> you tried to paint us with a hydra, but it was all about the hearty wood. <laughs> the hearty boys are here. Yeah, right? No, he's got cheeseburgers in the back room. <laughs> hearty? Oh, John and I both just looking at this, like... Yeah, I was like, what do we form with hearty? Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, okay, like, what, a, what other organization is there with these letters? We have one fucking vowel unless we... Utilize Y as an awkward vowel. Like, what are we gonna fucking form with this? Drahi. <laughs> Drahi. Uh. Drahi. It's the Greek. Yeah, more than that even got. I was like, this isn't anything. <laughs> <laughs> Dry eyes, clear eyes. Yeah, no, I was going through my, like, because I'll typically try to start with a letter and flow through for what I feel like I could formulate with those letters. And that's why I was like, one fucking vowel is so awkward. Rod, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm looking at the R, because I'm like, I don't think it fucking starts with the A. That doesn't make any sense at, at all. Like, Adri? <laughs> yeah, I kept getting hardy. I was like, I don't know why yeah, it's Yeah, like, it's, it's just hardy wood in here, I guess. So he returns with the wood. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so please do not touch this. You can read it from the box. And he pulls it open, and sure enough, there's an old piece of paper in this box. You see it's got holes. I should have made one, but... It's fine. Uh, it's got holes, like, in the center of it. Like, it, the edges are all really frayed and worn and, like, curled over. Like, it's a very old piece of paper. On it are the words, The key to me is seven deep, 
If you seek me, it will be your defeat. What? Where's your statue? My statue? Yeah. It's in my room. Okay. It's back at the tavern. It's 100% there. <laughs> the key to me is seven deep. Mm-hmm. If you seek me, it will be your defeat. Now, this paper is believed to be an excerpt from Utaist's journal. Um, it was found quite nearby the sword. Where was the sword found? Um, in an underground building, I guess you could say. Like a tunnel? Like a dungeon. In these woods? I'm not actually sure which woods. Uh, this was presented to me by Mr. Archery. Through his guard. Yes, this was his first donation. Uh, soon after came the paintings. Do the paintings have, like, artist names or anything on them? Billy. Billy the artist. <laughs> Billy. <laughs> it's hallmarks. It's all one letter. It spells Second out grade. Hydra. Peter Painter. <laughs> I'm going to say no. Interesting. Where does um, Mr. Archery find these paintings? Does he go to like auctions and buy them, or? Um, from what I understand, he commissioned these from artists around Orvigo. He said it was stimulating the economy of the city they lived in. He would pay the artists a significant sum for the paintings and. Presumably. The artist would go blow it at the tavern. That's right. Fine. He would go spend it. <laughs> Correct. Curious, these creatures. Humans, indeed. Artists, yeah. Yes. Or artists, yes. They're more curious themselves. <laughs> the owlbear. Yes. What color is it? White. white no color bear? at all? Just white? You're right. It would be white with, like, plumage of, like, multicolored feathers. So it looks like it fits the... Right. Okay. It would look like an Orvigo owlbear. Okay. Orvibear. bear. Or a bear. Mm-hmm. Alvigo. Alvigo, I like that. Do you have many of these? I've seen some of these other creatures, but this this one seems menacing. Oh, the owlbear? Smug aura yes. mocks me. They are very... <laughs> Do not like this painting. <laughs> what a weird review. <laughs> They are smug aura. <laughs> mocks, mocks me. <laughs> What's that from? It's always sunny. <laughs> oh. It's about the, the painting. Yeah. <laughs> Don't, the like dog. Painting, Charlie. Don't like it, Charlie. Smug, smug aura, aura mocks, mocks me. <laughs> uh, yes, owl bears are very ferocious creatures. Uh, very hateful. Mean. Are they. Are they common around this area? I've not come across them myself. Be glad. Consider yourself lucky. Um, I wouldn't say they're common, but there have been sightings of them. Out in the forests, of course. Aggressive and ferocious. Maybe they could just be misunderstood. <laughs> Absolutely. Who says, ah, Albert, not how's Albert? Well, I suppose <laughs> you're, you're welcome to talk to one while it's ripping your throat out. <laughs> maybe that's the whole thing, is they just want to be left alone. Sure. They're not predatory at all. Mm-hmm. Just, just misunderstood. Um. Yep. Mm-hmm. Hmm. You're you not all... one for risk, are you, my friend? <laughs> not usually, no. I like I to play it safe. How here. often do you I meet with this, um, <laughs> Alestra person? Uh, he arrives daily. Have you met with him already today? Yes. He arrives in the morning, early. Drops off my gold for food for the day. Um, he gives me any information or <laughs> items. Of you sack of shit. <laughs> <laughs> gives me information or items that Mr. Archery finds relevant to me. And does this Mr. Archery live in Dubai, I though? imagine so. Interesting. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you. Of course. Chessa, I'll leave the donation decision to you. They're not my books. Seems strange. I'm not done with them yet. You're more than welcome to bring them back when you're ready. Yep, I walk out. Take my books, put them back in my bag. I'm gonna look at this tablet thing that he has with the... Runes. Runes. 
Mm -hmm. Are they any clearer? They're, they are definitely more clear mm -hmm. than the ones that were on the books because these haven't been, you know, significantly water damaged. Um, I will say they're not a language that you recognize. Thank you very much for the sub. We really appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Wait, everyone on three. One, two, three. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> thank. Uh, mm. thank. Yeah, out into the road. Yeah. All right, and you step back out into the cul-de-sac of, of uh, Cabego. Mm. How, um, how many guards are out? Like, on, like, I know you said it was like kind of bustling. Fair amount. Ratio to people, like one guard for every ten. So a decent amount of guards. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of guards. And there's got to be barracks somewhere. Uh huh? In an area so rich, and why so many guards? Are they concerned about crime? The ruling class. But I mean, why why hire guards? Is it there? Seems to be the the only other occupation in town. I feel like they're not. We've hired. met three of the only three out of four proprietors in this entire town. What do you mean not hired? Much. We don't have much information to go off of, but nobody seems to have met this Mr. Artris. Except Artris. for the guards. Archery. Archery? Yeah. Uh, sure. Definitely weird. I'm not convinced he exists at all. Sure. One way to get closer to Mr. Archery. Sure. Find employment. Again, I don't know if that's really a concern of ours. Fair. You're welcome to do as, as you'd like, but I think there are more pressing matters. Such as? Whatever is killing people in the night here. Strange. And these books. They did tell us, too, that there is a... Uh... A sea monster they did. in the lake. Is that a problem? Oh, by the way, the paintings uh, spell out Hydra. Uh huh. I would say that is relevant then. Yeah. And uh, we were told that the Hydra is something to do with the waters south of where we found mm -hmm. the statue. Mm. It's interesting too that the lake is salt water. That is weird. It's interesting that we where found is... the salt water there. Also here. Maybe there's a tunnel. Sea tunnel. I'm also willing to bet that if we drag the lake eel, you might find your missing stone. Possibly. Mm -hmm. Because if it was Utais had it when he fell, and we found it at the bottom of the lake, I'm sure the stone's probably somewhere around the bottom of the lake as well. Well, yes, and we also found uh, our good crocodile friend mm -hmm. living within ruins at the bottom of the water. Perhaps Sergeva may have come across something like that in her diving. It's a very large lake. It'd be kind of hard to come through the lake. She does well, it every day. If only we had an army of people that we could find who are out of work. True. <laughs> True. <laughs> A lot of divers. Hmm. Fodder. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. I, I am still concerned about this masked creature or masked people out in this city. I'm hoping if this archery person is an actual person, he might have a better idea of who did they we, were and why they were here. Did we find out where the uh, the scholar went after he went to the museum? No. No, he just said he was here a couple weeks ago. Because mm -hmm. who's he didn't to pay come in at the end though. Yeah, who's supposed to pay us for killing that thing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What other stores are here? So, uh, I would very Flat much like to go back it. to uh, Kvego Keepsakes and go pick up that diamond. Yeah, the fire spire. Hmm. Are there no magic shops in this town? Mm -hmm. You said there was a general store too, right? Mm -hmm. What was the general store called? Kvego General. Mm. Well... Lind, I think that our good friend Jeff Jeffrey, Jeffrey Jeff, 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 Jeff whatever the fuck his Jeff name Jeff is, dude, I don't remotely actually give a shit. So Jeffrey, Jeff's, Jeff's. I think he's going to get two gold from us. 
perhaps, probably even three or four. Mm-hmm. I could, uh, Chester could hire him. Certainly. I have no problem with you and I hiring him. Sure, that's fair. Establish a good sense of trust with him. Mm. And, I did uh, have a fairly curious thing that might make sense. Mm. What if all the guards within, uh, Vega were not hired by this uh, Mr. Archery. What if they pooled all of their money together and made like a shadow figure and then they've killed people that have found out about it and threatened to reveal it? Name your own price? Right. Drive up demand? Yeah. Started with one guard though, you know? Well, that's what the... That's what he says, but... We don't know that for sure. Perhaps we can find more information from the, uh original leader seems like the kind of business that only works if there is at first the impetus the need sure was there rampant crime here maybe there was at one point and he solved it maybe they even caused the crime and then solved the problem does seem a great length to go to drain the body but they're killing guards why would they kill their own what if they've threatened to reveal it blackmailed Criminals are criminals. There's sometimes you can trust each other empirically, and other times you can. Sometimes the crew is betrayed. Right. Certainly, but then why even <laughs> these strange signages in the mist that we've seen, the three of us? That I don't know. That is certainly peculiar, but something is going on here with Mr. Archery for sure. Certainly. Can you describe what you saw? Last night. Squirrels. Red ones. Squirrel, red squirrels. <laughs> Crimson squirrels. Crimson squirrels within the mist. <laughs> Chomping on the throats of a god. <laughs> I mean, one could... as a collective. <laughs> a one great. option is, is we could just wait out and encounter the mist ourselves. I tried that last night. Yeah, they didn't give a you shit. did what? 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 <laughs> <laughs> You what? <laughs> well, I put on a squirrel costume and I was walking around outside. So when you say you I saw dressed up as Mr. Window, Peanut and, and I went outside. Out oh, I wasn't out in it. Sounds I like s- you were out in it. Sounds no, like you. I simply sat at my windowsill and watched as it moved. Well, I slept soundly. Oh no, Flint! This was before you came upstairs. Ah, oh, okay. You remember I went to bed quite early. Right. That's so then true. we can try to see if it's an actual thing that would be willing to engage in possibly a fight or I don't know it's, it's an idea for now um, I would personally try to see if we could have a face of the name set up a meeting yeah. after all if they're looking for someone to help fight this problem I'd rather speak to the boss in charge may as well may be have, paid for it and we may have gotten a note at the at the end as well while we were out mm-hmm. well, I also find it very strange that the ambivalence of the guard so far is uh, quite alarming. Yeah. When asked what they are doing about this current problem, they said they're just telling people to not go outside at night and they're doing nothing proactive to halt it. Yep. Yeah. They're being preventative and not actually cutting off the problem itself. Correct. Right. Yeah. It seems no they one else has even remotely sought out to investigate this. This problem has been going on for been going on for some time, but not definitive. I also do wonder about the scholars. Like I said, most of them will do just about anything for some information. You said there's a lot of people on the street, right? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna just stop somebody. Any random person. Hi! Hello. Hey. Why did you grab me? I have a quick question for you. She likes your shoes. I do hey, like your shoes. thank you. Give yeah. me no. <laughs> <laughs> quick, question. Quick, question. <laughs> quick question. Give me your shoes. That's my favorite kind of question. Oh, excuse me, how are you doing today? <laughs> Mine. <laughs> uh... Are you from this area? Come here often. Yeah? <laughs> That's your sign. Yeah, I live here. Are you familiar with the mist? The mist? Yeah. Ah, shit kills you. How long's that been going on for? Whew. A while. How long's a while? Months, weeks, days, years? Does time really matter? <laughs> no. It does Wait, the one does person that we pulled like off the street is having like is an old like crisis. Like, it's been a long time. You have like a tinfoil hat. Yeah. <laughs> What is time, man? He's <laughs> not wearing anything but an oversized t-shirt. <laughs> 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 it's 
cut sleeves. He's cut uh, pockets into the shirt. It's uh, been a while. Yeah. A couple hours? A couple years? Uh, at least two, three months. While. Interesting. Oh, it started, they, uh... What? Have they learned anything about it since then? No. Not really. Uh, people have tried to catch it, but you ever tried to catch mist? Soft. <laughs> you tend to miss? <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am, I don't appreciate your call. <laughs> she tried to catch the call. Good morning. Good morning. She missed. <laughs> Water vapor. Alright, thanks for your time. <laughs> yeah, sure. I guess. Nice shoes. Thanks. They're great. Keep your eye on them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I heard the miss likes to take shoes. Yeah. No, oh, miss likes blood. And shoes. <laughs> That doesn't sound right. <laughs> doesn't matter. You just leave a pair of shoes outside of your house every night. <laughs> It'll leave you alone. It'll leave you alone. Or I just go in my house. Well, that'll work for now. But no one's ever been found drained of blood in a house. Only outside. Yeah, were they all wearing the shoes, house. though? No. They were right. barefoot? I mean, there's some... Where's a rectangle? They've taken their shoes. The mist takes your <laughs> shoes. <laughs> Well, anyway, um, <laughs> I love bye. Y'all seem fun, but goodbye. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> yeah, there's your answer. It's been going on for about two to three months. Mm. Yeah. How long has this uh, archery character been? Long enough for a museum to be, yeah, gathered all of those items, and for that poor man to be duped into. It feels like an established <laughs> rain here. I mean, how. Things can move fairly quickly when we're talking about a large sum of money. Yes, I think that, uh... Absolutely. Archer would probably want to speak with us, considering we're going to be going out of our way to try and solve his problem that even his guard isn't going to do. He would probably want to talk to us face-to-face as well. Certainly. Check to see if there's a note. If not, start bribing guards. I want to grab a random person from the crowd again. (laughs) (laughs) Ha! It's the same guy. (laughs) What now? (laughs) I like your shoes. (laughs) Thanks. How long has Archer been leader here? Oh. I'm not the (laughs) town historian. (laughs) Oh. I don't even work here. (laughs) Oh. 10, 15 years? Thanks, sir. (laughs) I like that we're standing outside of the museum asking this random dude all of these time questions. It's like when you go into a store and grab an associate, but it's just a person wearing the same (laughs) color shirt. I once once saw a Chick-fil-A associate (laughs) in a Target (laughs) in uniform, and I felt so bad for that lady. Was I with you when that happened? (laughs) Because every customer was like, excuse me, and she was like, I don't It happened like three times in one aisle. If any human being has khakis and keys, they're like, excuse me, do I look like I fucking work here? Mm. I got a blue shirt on. This is Target. No. That lady wore black pants and a red shirt to a target. Yeah, and then everybody got was frustrated like, excuse me. when everyone was asking her questions. And I was like, you, I mean, you put you're looking the part. You yeah. look like an employee here. Yeah. yeah. Start smoking in the store or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Start pushing in the store. No, actually, if she smoked in the store, that would like yeah. solidify her body. She's definitely an employee. <laughs> employee. <laughs> I just don't give a fuck anymore. <laughs> I'm going to start heading back to the Honorable Pike. Okay. okay. Same. All right, so you, you make your way back through the bustling city. Uh, you wanted to stop and get the gem, or you just want to go back to the Honorable Pike? Just go straight back, yeah. You got it. I'm going to get my money later. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you walk into the Honorable Pike, and uh, what's Dar- his name? Darren. Darren. <laughs> Goes, Billy. oh, uh, welcome back. Um, Anything for us? Yes, actually. Got a letter from Guard Captain. Guard Captain... Oh, sorry. Uh, it's Captain Loading. Captain <laughs> Loading. Uh, Captain Newmeyer. All right. Take the note. Mm-hmm. Read said note. Note says, "Please kill the mist." <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's is that it? Love, <laughs> Captain Newmire. XO, XO. Is it written in crayon? The S backwards. Thinking Please you. kill the mist. Please kill the mist. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, it's written really big. It would also say, it would say <laughs> like reward 500 gold. 
500 gold, that's it? That's not a lot. <laughs> we were getting 100 gold per dead body in another city. <laughs> yeah, this is a mysterious this mist blood is, sucking mist. This is a hard to find, hard to fight people. mist. We're this only at 500 gold. This is horseshit. Can't even split that six ways. <laughs> Oh, shit, you're right. <laughs> 600 gold? Yeah, make it 600. Yeah. 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 It says that at the bottom. Make shit, it you're even right. Thousand. Thousand. Make it 600. Round it up to an even thousand. It's fine. You know what? 20,000 gold. We're yeah. negotiating with a letter, and I love it. <laughs> no letter. <laughs> We're <We're yelling>. <laughs> <laughs> no letter. No letter. No bar. I, I, I need to come. What, how, yeah, what, 600. 600. I have a really important question, by the way. Okay. Are, you're the owner of this inn, or do you just work here? I'm the owner. Do you have a satisfaction guarantee? Guarantee? Ah! Sir, we have a strict no pun policy. <laughs> There's a placard. <laughs> no nonsense. Don't make me tap the sign. <laughs> sure. Oh, he's got taps for that, Flint. Mm. Had to clear the place mm. out of the <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to go over and try it. <laughs> There's nothing coming out of here. You're the worst. <laughs> Last time there was a nonsense, he kicked everyone out. It was yep. a Darren Wasteland. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. All right, so we were hired to kill the mist. Uh, Newmeyer? Yeah. Uh, I'd Where recommend... Where can we find Captain Newmeyer? Uh, he's around. Or any other guards. What does he look like? <laughs> yeah. Is there a barracks? Do you have like a big hat or something? Like yeah, how probably a, like a watchtower. He wears a star on his chest, I can tell you that. Is he the sheriff? Fancy cowboy man. He's got spurs on his boots. Big old tank out. What a big eye. Howdy, y'all. Welcome to Cabega. I hope he's just, uh, Y'all gonna hunt that mist? Whoa, we've been having problems with hydras for years. <laughs> nice to see you, new this folk. This is my second folk. in command, Slim Jim. <laughs> He's just Sam oh, Elliott. No. He's got the big old mustache. <laughs> Whoa, well, I'll come back now you're here. <laughs> All right, we have to find this man somehow. <laughs> Spurs. Put, I want put out an APB on a man uh, with a star. Is there a guard tower or yeah. a uh, building? Do they eat Eastern somewhere? District, yeah, do they possibly? eat somewhere? <laughs> But he'd eat here a lot of the time. Um, he yeah, actually sure. had his dinner when he came in for the note. <laughs> Bless, Bless you. You. you didn't shout one. Warning! Warning! I don't scream <laughs> the top of my lungs like a banshee when I sneeze. <laughs> Maybe you should try. <laughs> see, if you feel, <laughs> see if you feel better. <laughs> it's, it is cathartic, you, I promise. <laughs> demon slowly escaping each time. Yeah, yeah the demon. Um... Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, he uh, had his dinner when he dropped off the note. Um, all the guards live in their own homes. It seems like we're so. just barely missing these people by like yeah. 10 minutes. Do you minutes. have an address for him? <laughs> an address? I don't know where he lives, sir. All right. Oh, Flint, it's fine. We can wander just around. Just wander and around and at night. a guard off the street. Hey, <laughs> do you have a moment to talk to us <laughs> about the mist? Do typically wear a uniform? Uh, plate mail, usually. Clank, clank. Yeah. Big gold star. Only We're already hired, aren't we, then? Yeah. Only Captain Newmeyer has the star. Sure. Like a big one, or can we see it from far away? Just on uh, top of his head, just like a Christmas tree. The crown. <laughs> you, you'd probably like be able to see it from a fair distance. <laughs> yeah, at this point, sure. like, you just need to claim that you're a guard, and you can be a guard. Yeah, no, that's my well, point. Can, like, I, can I borrow when, two gold from you? When we... Uh, I mean, I'll give you two gold. I'm going to buy you. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, he's hired. He's a guard. <laughs> when, when we were talking to Jeff Jeffrey, mm -hmm. our good friend, did he have anything on him? in his attire that looked in any way identifiable to the fact that he is in fact a guard. Like a cape or something? A like sash, a fucking ribbon, vest. like a, a, a scarf. Fair. Fair. Like a collar on his armor. Even. Yeah, literally yeah. A anything. A feather in his hat. Yeah, his, uh, he would be wearing like the, the <laughs> center chest region of okay. his plate mail would be painted a dark green. Like um like a hunter green? Like a, like a sigil on it, or the breastplate itself is painted green? The breastplate itself would be okay. painted green. Oh, uh, right. I don't have a dark enough green to identify it. Okay, yeah. that's fine. Yeah. It's like a sage green. Sure. Darker. Navy green. Navy green. That's... This is the second time you've said this, and I don't like that phrase. <laughs> you know... No, what I said before was maroon is navy red. Ugh. Uh, it's, you're not... 
That's not the most wrong thing I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely not correct. Of all the things, it's still wrong. Of all the things we hear. <laughs> like, to be honest, like, you say navy green, I know what you're talking yeah. about. Like, I can see it in my head. And I hate it. Yeah. About what time is it? Oh, uh, it's this. getting to be late afternoon, probably like four or five o'clock. Right. Sure. This man ate his dinner already and left. Mm-hmm. How probably. old is he? <laughs> is he, he not Is he eating? Thought he's a pillow boy. <laughs> <laughs> Very busy. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> you go to bed early. You don't partake. You got me. <laughs> uh, okay, so. Fully green, bl- <sighs> just the breastplate, like the mm-hmm. arms yeah, are just not just the breastplate, the, the center breastplate. Mm-hmm. Okay. Does right. it look like it's um, like it was like forged to be green, or it was like painted green? Uh, yeah, so like no, it was definitely painted green. Okay, so not like adamantium or anything. Hmm. Flint. Probably not. Sure. Oh. Does it seem strange to you that our good friend the curator is not visited by the captain? As an individual. That who is, is odd. being yeah. given gold directly, supposedly from Mr. Archery? That's a good point. What if the, I mean, that could, could just be Mr. Archery. Maybe he dresses up in a guard's uniform and just runs around. We're all like Archery now. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Greg's. I am the knight. Yes. Hmm. Something to think of. But I think, in terms of catching this mist, I've got an idea. Sure. Let's have some dinner. All right. At five? What's Scooby Doo traps? Mm. Dinner. Okay, sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, what would you all like? Bait. I want a big mm-hmm. sandwich shuffle together. Using his bait. Mm-hmm. Stack playing oh, me. It stopped. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I'll order the tiger fish again because it's delicious. Yep, same. Yeah, same. All right. Uh, I'll go with salmon. Okay. Tiger fish all around then? I'll uh-huh. eat the salmon. <laughs> Don't fuck me, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> tigerfish, tigerfish, I love salmon. Fuck you. He did What's his breakfast, breakfast too. I was right. like, can I get a tigerfish? He's like, two tigerfishes. Got it. Say that again. Ants. ants. <laughs> tigerfish and ants. Okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. Yes, I'll be right back. Thank you. Oh, uh, tigerfish. Is this like what we understand as tigerfish, or is this a, like, ordinary tiger hybrid? Tigerfish. Is like it like a tiger that swims? Like it's a great question. Right. Uh, <laughs> comes back with placing his all right here you are uh tiger fish all around and the salmon mm-hmm. thank you sir thank you of course complimentary dinner no okay so uh, <laughs> an amount <laughs> cool 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 you could always wrestle him for it mm-hmm. believe it's like two gold mm. i think it was two gold yeah per plane sure Yep. Same Give him the two gold. No, oh, here it is. Uh, yeah, two gold. Give him cool. the two gold. All right, twelve gold, please. You'd be so kind as to just throw it at me. No, I'm kidding. Sure. <laughs> You'd be so you kind as to throw it at me. Like, a, like a, a bucket, I can. No. Okay. Oh, no, thank you. Sure. There you thank go. you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> what is this? A dinner for ants? <laughs> All right. It's a dinner of ants. <laughs> yes. Anything else? No, we're good, Darren. Thank you. Have a lovely evening. Thanks. Thank you. Yes. And walks away. Yep. Is there a part of this uh, room that's like more private? Ah. Uh, then. Yeah, there's booths against the wall. There's like a corner booth in the back l- or the front left. <clears throat> By the door, room. though. Mm-hmm. The high roller booth. Mm-hmm. Uh, for whatever, it's cool. it's not like directly room. next yeah. to the door. Sure. It's pretty far away from okay, it. Okay, cool. let's go sit over there. Yeah, let's okay. go there. Yeah, we'll sit down. Mm-hmm. Uh, well. If this mist likes blood, quite happy to give it some. Fair. I worked before with the horrific wolf bird thing in the forest. That's true. And I also have this. I'm going to pull out my bottle of ever smoking. <laughs> Just like a, you know, vial of uh, a smoke-like liquid. Oh, and mm-hmm. I've, got a, I've got a deck full of demons and other things. Yes. That, though, is less controlled than this. Sure. That's fair. Yeah, I don't... I mean, I do have, and I point to the ring that's on my hand. It does carry blood in it. Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether or not it would attempt to take that. I do not know if it can drink from a ring. Ten minutes, right? The Earth Elemental. A minute. A minute. Yeah, my. Does the Elemental itself have blood? 
I don't no, believe so. I don't think so. It's a stone elemental. I don't know if I'd be able to pierce it. Do not know if it would want to drink from that then. I could send my bird out as well. Keep an eye. On. On the sky, at least. Certainly. Not opposed. I can see anything. Keep an eye on you as well. If you need a backup. Oh well, yes, I didn't anticipate you all simply going to bed and me wandering out into no, the street but... to be consumed. <laughs> that was not the plan. It wasn't. <laughs> Could be. Should you like? I mean, I'm not opposed to a good night's rest, but if you need help, I don't mind helping. I mean, if everyone is interested. I mean, help would be helpful. I'm not going to let you go out on your own. <laughs> Prolific. Yeah. Fantastic. You know how I am. <laughs> I like this idea very much. <laughs> uh, well, dinner. And then check to see if there is mist. Mm-hmm. Dinner and, and then th- dessert. Yes, with... <laughs> Tap my bottle <laughs> and put it away. Does the mist come every night? Most nights, they said. Mm-hmm. They said it is not, not always a red mist, but uncertain as to whether or not this evening will be one is always worth a shot. But I will go out into the alleys and see if my blood draws its presence. So, as you all are sitting here having a <coughs> conversation, uh, you're nearby a window, so you're able to like look out into the street. Mm-hmm. You see the sun begin to slowly set. Mm-hmm. And as the sun's setting, you notice some mist rolling in off the lake. Mm-hmm. Are these what, do these windows have glass panes, or are they like open? They'd be glass panes. Okay. Yeah, but you watch the mist roll in, mm-hmm. and we'll end there for tonight. Very good. Very good. I like it. Chat, thank you guys very much for watching tonight. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, we will be back on Tuesday for the City of Oshwamp at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, if you're new here, make sure you follow us. So you can find us again, Octane and Narwhal Zombies. Thank you very much for the subs this evening. We really, really appreciate it. Um, hope you guys had fun. Uh, if you're new here, you can also go to our website, notgreatrpg.com. We have links to our YouTube channel, our podcast. Uh, and text recaps for all the episodes. We also have a bunch of different coupons for some different uh, tabletop companies that are on there as well uh, that you guys can use to save money on things that you're definitely already buying. Um, We've got some fan art and some other cool stuff on there as well. Uh, You can also join our Discord and hang out with us if you want to. Um, But yeah, thank you guys very much. We'll be back on Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye, friends.